round four. Here we round go again. Four indeed. <laughs> Hello, Six chaps. How are we doing? I'm I'm sorry, guys. Everybody that, that's sort of like been sitting here waiting for me to turn up. I do apologise. I know it's been an inconvenience in your day. Better late than never. Yeah. <laughs> Hope we're all well. Um, guys, those of you watching either live or at your own leisure, please don't forget, drop a like on the stream. Really does help the channel out. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as Duke says, his little saying now, I'm, I'm going to use it, touch the iron bell. What could possibly go wrong? That's a bell indeed. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Um, chap, so you've obviously gone to somewhere a little bit quieter and uh, less chaotic. Um, we have indeed. Lovely. Yeah. So it was It was because obviously for anyone that's what isn't aware, I, I jumped on very briefly on the previous stream and then quickly realised that it wasn't going to work. So I've come back home. So, yeah. but there you go. Um, we were also joined, obviously, as you can see, guys, um, by Cahill and West Ham Online. Gentlemen, how the devil are you? Good. Yeah, good, good, yeah. Good. Yeah. Pleased to hear it. Okay. Oh, now... I'm just having going to um, do a little bit of a recap since the last stream ended. I don't know exactly what the timeline was when you hit uh, stop broadcast. So I'm looking on the... I'll just to add it to the stream thus. Um, okay, so this is on the Twitter. Um, 41 minutes ago, Sky Sports News reported that Takihiro Tomiyasu, the Bologna centre-back, had agreed terms on a four-year contract plus the option of a fifth with Arsenal. They've made another signing, gentlemen. And he was someone yeah, we I was very tentatively good. linked with. Good they're, on their they're on their arse. I don't think it's going to make any difference whatsoever. They're, they're, they're in a bad way. Um, I, I think there's a, there's a toxic atmosphere within the... Um, within the... Uh, within the dressing room, within the club, based around what's going on um, with Arteta and everything else. And, and if I'm honest, uh, another signing isn't going to do any favours. They've, they've got a side there. Um, they've got they've got an 11 there that are capable. And in fact, they've got a squad there that are capable. Um, what they choose to do with that is beyond me. Um, they're not... Um, they're not playing well because of a toxic atmosphere that is created with inside the club. The players are already there and they can get the best out of those. Um, my only concern is that um, the only reason that that will stop is one, once um, Arteta leaves, unfortunately. And, and I, I say that um, <coughs> I don't want to see a manager get a sack, but Arteta is part of the reason that that's a problem. I actually have a slightly... I, I see what Duke is saying, but I don't think the toxic at atmosphere stems from Arteta, personally. I, I think it was there when Emery was there, and I think it was there when uh, towards the end of Wenger's reign as well. I think the main thing um, that is the issue at Arsenal is... Sorry to interrupt there, um, West Ham Online. Breaking yeah. news. It's been reported by Fabrizio Romano within the last minute that Ethan Ampadu to Venezia, done deal, and here we go, confirmed, loan until June 2022. Ampadu signs a new deal with Chelsea until June 2024. Guys, I've got to be honest with you. I think we should have been in for this kid. Eh, if he's going to Venezia, then I think that tells you all you need to know, really. Joined by Jazz. How are you, sir? <laughs> oh, are you with us, Chaz? Oh, he's put Chaz, your headphones in. Plugged That's in. right. Breaking news from Cyber: Zande Silva's joined Nottingham Forest on loan. Apparently, really? Mm. I think that's back to Cyber. He was going to be going back to Thessalonica. Yeah. I thought he joined. Yeah, don't know. Anyway, let me have a little. Let me have a little dig. Um, what I was saying about Arsenal is, I think they talk, talk the problems at the club. The main issue for me is they've got no leader in the dressing room. The fact that Aubameyang is their captain is borderline embarrassing, in my opinion. Um, he's the, If I could pick any player at Arsenal that I wouldn't want to be captain, it's a man with attitude problems who's late, um, has been late to games and was late to North London derby, um, and is more interested in fashion than football. Um, 
there's no but, discipline there. That's what I always see from it. They look just, like it looks like the players, the players yeah. rule everything, and the management and don't really have any say. Oh, okay. firm, guys, there's nothing on the West Ham official Twitter page regarding Zande Silva going to Nottingham Forest. I'm not saying that Cyber's wrong. I'm just yeah, saying there's Forest, nothing maybe. on the Twitter, um, the Twitter uh, handle of West Ham. Carry yeah. on, Alfie. Yeah, uh, and I think. Um, yeah, the the team spirit doesn't seem to be great. They've signed the wrong characters and haven't scouted well in that department. Um, and the fan base, the fan base is exactly the same. It's, it is a negative fan base, which will always affect the players. And what it really stems from is the owners. Uh, obviously, Arsenal's owners are horrendous, and everyone knows that. There's protests quite a bit about them. So when you've got a bad attitude and morale in the squad... A bad attitude and morale in the um, in the fan base and bad owners. It doesn't matter how much ability you've got uh, within the free compartment uh, compartment within the free departments. Um, it's ne- it's never going to be a good recipe, is it? No, no, agreed, agreed. But to be honest, it's it's quite funny for us as West Ham fans to to witness it. I, I you know I, I I say that as you know with, with my partisan West Ham hat on, if you will. Um, I, you all know, or nothing comes out. That's, oh, that's when the yeah. real fun begins. Yeah, I mean, it, but it's you know taking my West Ham goggles off for a minute. You know, Arsenal are a club steeped in you know English football tradition and all the rest of it. And there's a little part of me that just looks at it and thinks, "Wow," you know, just I'm just lost for words. But also they joined the ESL, so I don't really care what happens to any of them teams. Yeah, they they kind of lost a little bit of um, respect that I had for them, and I did. To be fair, my my late grandfather was an Arsenal fan, fan, so I you know I have or had, if you will, um, a bit of a soft spot for Arsenal. It kind of went south once uh, the ESL stuff come come up, so you know. But there you go, there you go. But. Uh, just having a little look here on, um, as I say, just sort of going back, because obviously since the last um, stream ended, Adamola Lookman, he has completed his season-long loan from RB Leipzig to Leicester City. Um, do you think that's a, a, a decent career move for him, potentially, Japs? Um, go to you first, Cahill. Uh, yeah, I think it's a great move. He's I've 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 I thought he was good last last year and uh, mm-hmm. would have been someone to look into. I think we have enough attacking options right now with the signings coming in. But yes, we need a striker, of course, but we can't have too many wingers or else we'll we'll end up with we'll sort of a to be a toxic atmosphere. You could end up with lads pissed off with it. So uh, it's a good signing for him. He gets a bit of European football and a good good bit of football there, and uh, it's good for Leicester mm-hmm. as well. Chaz, your thoughts? I didn't follow him much, to be fair. Yeah, I didn't really follow him much, so I'm not too sure. It's takes, a loan. takes a decent penalty. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is, I mean, the key is a lot of these loan balls, a lot of them are like, you have to buy them now. Hmm. Uh, so I think Alex Crowell, I think we've paid four million loan fee, but we have to buy him at the end, I think. I, I think I think it's only if he plays a certain yeah. amount of games, I believe. Oh. Yeah, then it'll be uh, another thirteen million to pay then, calling it making it seventeen million deal, I think. I've just got a, a tweet here. Renato Sanchez injured, so won't be joining Wolves. They have other options they are pushing for now. So yeah. Renato Sanchez to Wolves, it appears, is off, Not. and that is from uh, Simon Stone, which BBC Sport have retweeted on their official site. Yeah, that's disappointing. He would have been an unbelievable signing for Wolves, like li- literally unbelievable. Wolves themselves look so good at the moment. I don't get how they've lost all three of their games. They've been so unlucky. Um, they um, so has well. someone got a, a 3.5 jack not in properly? i got to be honest, I did think what words and pictures, I did think it was, there was a little bit of interference coming through from somewhere. Hmm? Sounds a bit scratchy. I don't know. No, nope, we'll carry on. We'll see, see if it's... Uh, Sorted itself out, chaps. I apologise for any uh, 
any sort of clicking you've got in your ear rolls? Um, well, I don't think that's true, Charlie, but I'll check now because I was just on his Twitter. I, I hope think, you're I right, think that was a fake account that i seen say that. Oh, <laughs> What, yeah, Fabrizio oh, Romano? Hang on. Yeah, one of, really one of the, the market yeah, games. Like, I'm, I'm on his page at the minute. His last entry was three minutes ago, and this is this is um one just to bring you. Chelsea will pay €5 million Euros to Atletico Madrid for Seoul. He'll be in England in the coming hours to complete his move. Paperwork time between the two clubs. Kunde deal is still completely blocked between Chelsea and Sevilla. So, There's a lot of loans, isn't are they going to regret getting loans Zuma out the door? I wonder. Well, if if they don't get a replacement, they definitely will. Yeah, but mm. uh, I I have a friend who's a Chelsea fan, and he so he'd be watching them a lot more than I would. And he's saying, uh, he even if they don't sign him, he wants to see uh, uh is a Chalaba the young centre back they have. He wants to see him get a lot of game time and thinks he'll be good enough. Trevor Chalaba. Can I just yeah. come in, uh, Charlie Mills? Uh, the gentleman that just um, put up there about Bamber has agreed, um, Romano has confirmed it. I've found the Romano tweet. Um, that he says that Bamber has confirmed it's it's a fake account. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Got to look out for the blue tick. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a fake account. I've just um, literally, as I've scrolled up on uh, on my homepage on Twitter. Um, Someone's retweeted it, and that's exactly what's uh, what's been said. Yeah, yeah. I've just seen a comment there about Odebeko to Huddersfield. I'm really hoping um, that 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 loan is a success for him. Because... Breaking news: 34 seconds ago on Sky Sports Twitter account, sorry, West Ham Online, just to get this out, Jamal Lowe has completed his move to Bournemouth from Swansea. Woo! God. <laughs> 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 not impressed <laughs> no. oh, we're reporting transfer news we're not it's not just West Ham if it was if it was West Ham I don't think we'd have got as much content as we've managed to get so we've had to branch out a little bit yeah 2.5 million that when I was reading the AFC Bournemouth page earlier actually I know I said it's a, a relevant transfer but I think he'll do well for him it's he done well for Swansea last season. So, yes, if you actually look, watch the championship, then watch out for him replacing Dan Juma. Fair enough. Do we think that there's going to be any more business tonight as far as we're concerned, chaps? No, um, no not now. Not no. even loans or anything Anything no. sort of like slightly no. creative? I think the best, the best we have to look for is an official announcement on Kral, and that's it, really. Yeah. That's it. Maybe a picture of Vlasic in a jersey. That's yeah. all we have to look forward to. Yeah, maybe maybe announce another number change. <laughs> Don't go there. Yeah. I think they're talking to four strikers around lunchtime, but we've probably yeah. got no money. The money left, and they just said no, we can't do a deal. According to that, yeah. So we just we just money into two pairs, haven't we? Really? Yeah. We've got oh, hang five. on, hang on, Mister McCready. Hold on, hold on. Been in court. <laughs> I've been working today, old son. You know, I, listen, I, I've, I've, I've done me best. I've done me best, you know. Mm. Breaking where's, news. Breaking where's the boys news. disappeared to? Breaking news. Breaking yep. news. Another irrelevant rumour. Um, Ostende defender Jack Hendry is signed for Club Bruges in a deal worth up to £8.6 million. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. About that? That Not actually really. That just came but... up when I refreshed my Twitter as well. That is yeah. an amazing We're here to uh, report bit it. of breaking news there. Yeah, we'll report it. I'm and surprised it, anything... no one's got a Rigi. I'm surprised. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't get it. I mean, I think he's a decent player. I know some people are a little bit... don't quite agree with that statement, and that's fine, but... Did you hear this one about um, Mbappe deal? Um, yeah. They offered him 200... They offered uh, PSG 220 million euros, did um, Real Madrid, and it's just... It's not happening they reckon there's not enough time to do the deal yeah PSG sat sat on a reply for hours and then PS, um, Madrid pulled out of it yeah. P- yeah PSG would be willing to let them go on a free the money doesn't mean that much to them yeah, I find that so ridiculous that they'd rather, they'd rather keep him for a year or two and lose Charlie um, in answer to Charlie's question we'll just bat, bat this one around oh that's that noise again 
Um, is that you, West Ham Online? I've got a funny feeling it possibly is. No, I can still hear it when I turn my mask off. Hmm. Stop, stop. See what? Hang on a moment. Oh. No. No, I've muted your mic. <laughs> ah, it's you, Jazz. <laughs> I've just muted you and the noise stopped. What about now? Can you? That's better. That's better. Um, chaps, we've got um, Charlie asking a question. We'll go, we'll start with um, you, West Ham Online. Um, Charlie Mills is obviously saying, um, sorry for the false information. That's fine, mate. You know, it's not your fault. But he's asking the question, how likely is Bamba, do you think? I think, Charlie, that it's about a 3 out of 10, to be honest. Um, I, d I don't think it's going to happen. I think everyone knows that. Uh, unless the club suddenly um, agreed. I don't know what it is. Maybe the, the club just think they don't have enough money to pay his wages. Maybe they're over the... I, I really don't know what it is because apparently the talks earlier were positive at the start. So I'm not sure what the problem is, but I, I highly doubt that they now go back into that deal. <laughs> Um, so yeah, three out of ten for me. Just before you you guys go in there, just a little bit of breaking news, if you will. Um, X W H U employee was asked the question by Adam Adam Loveday nine two. Asking him any or after crowd. At the moment, I think it is done, unless there is a last minute change of plan. But I'm here till the end, so we'll let you know if it changes. So the door's not completely shut. What say you, Duke and Andy? Sorry, mate, you cut completely out Then go again. I say XWHU is saying that he thinks that we're done at our business, but there is a last minute unless there's a last minute change of plan um how likely do you think it might be um listen we, we've come into today um and I, i'll be honest with you i'm not overly impressed with the way we've gone about things um just for the simple fact is um we've we've kind of waited until the end and, and I'm frustrated by it. I'm incredibly frustrated by it because as far as I'm concerned, these deals should have been over the line last week, week before. Um, and what, what frustrates me is that um, I'm hoping Kroll comes, in, Kroll comes in now, unless he's already in. I haven't seen anything to, to believe otherwise. But unless Kroll comes in now... Um, then I think we're done. But if, if, if Crow hasn't come in, we've got... Crow will come in and then we're done, yeah. Yes? Yeah, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I think um, Crow is a risk. Vlasovic, whatever his name, he's a risk. Zuma's not. And then we haven't got any left back. We haven't got a striker. Yeah, I think... I don't think it's good enough. I don't think it's such a risk on that Vlasovic, the amount of money that we've tied down to it and it's not it's not and it's left nothing in the pot to even get loan deals over the line it's, it's not good enough what say you west ham online uh um yeah i'm not happy with it to be honest um but i think i think it's over i think we'll get crow that's it um they're not gonna attempt to get another forward now and yeah that's it for us Cahill, well, your thoughts? Yeah, can't see much really happening. It would be a be a drastic shock to me if, if anything else does if we go for a forward. But that's just the way the way it's uh, gone. I think we were a lot more excited in the morning than we are now in the evening. So uh, we'll I'll give have you to wait and see. I'll give you example how things are done. James wasn't available till last night, and that, that and Leeds have got that over the line in literally half a day. 
Yeah, no, nah, fair yeah, but point. Listen, that, that's the norm with us, mate, as far as I'm concerned, and that's the frustrating part behind it, is, you know, we, we do this consistently. Let's, let's not mess around. We do this consistently. I reckon we've, although I'm not happy, I reckon we're lucky we've got these two, three bodies over the line the way we've done it. Zuma was kind of on one minute, off next minute, and Corral, we don't even know yet. Um, Velasquez, however, he wanted to go to Milan. I don't know what happened there. And yeah, it's just all over the place. It's just, drag to football comes in January. I expect to see a big difference in the way we get um, transfers done. And if we do improve, which is not hard to do, we'll, we'll clearly know who, who and what the issue was up to, up to this point, really. Why why the transfers keep collapsing and not not quite getting over the line, really. Yeah. I, I'm not negative at all. I really ain't negative at all. I still I still think a striker's coming in. Origi signed his new deal with Liverpool, and that's what they're doing, exactly what Chelsea do before they loan anyone out. They give them a, a longer length contract so their transfer value don't, don't, don't come down. And in my opinion, Origi will be a West Ham player by 11 o'clock. I think, I at, think uh, Andy. I'm looking no, at Montanelli. Did you say Montanelli? He said that oh. we explored a possible loan deal with Origi. Um, he's assuming yeah. we've decided against it because it's gone a bit quiet. Um, but that was two minutes ago. We put that up two minutes ago saying that um, we explored the... Uh, we explored that with um, with Origi, so I reckon there's still a chance that Origi might be a there might okay. be a chance. He said that someone's asked him if he, that's it for West Ham. He said it looked like it unless there's a late move, and then three minutes after that, he's put that we were we, we made inquiries into Origi. Um, he says that we've also held Chelsea, talks with Chelsea for Barkley. But we were put off no. by the fee that Chelsea were demanding. Um, so we've decided against that move. But the last thing he posted about West Ham, like I say, was about four minutes ago saying that we explored a loan for a reek. He said, no, I wouldn't say that it's dead yet. Um, we'll see. I think, I think that Montanelli guy is um, basically, I'm pretty sure he got exposed earlier for being like a Chelsea page or something that's fake in being a journalist. But everyone sort of worked out that he just seems to copy word for word everything that a top journalist says um, and then says it a few minutes later. So I don't know whether I trust him. And going back to what X tweeted, I think X, X is always careful when he tweets because he doesn't want the trolls to think, oh, you, you've messed up again. I think basically what he's saying there is we're definitely not getting a striker um, unless something unbelievable happens. Um, but I just think that's the case. What about this Porto left back? He's been linked with us now. Zanussi, is it? Zanussi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about his mate Hot Point? Zado, Zado Zanussi. Left back, left back, mate. Can't say I, he's someone that I'm particularly familiar with. What about uh, any of you guys? Uh, no. No, not from us. Fair enough. Um, West Ham online. Yeah. Alf, yeah. Talk to me about your hamstrings. What, what, have, what have you and the delightful uh, West Ham Central got a <coughs> got a beef over, my young man? What, what's going on? I I understand you trust um, Moyes over his. Not input. more arguments. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bloody hell. I always argue with Central. Um, I just think. He's basically um, pinning the blame all on Moyes again. So I just said, um, "Yeah, I just saw that. I, I can't agree with Moyes it." Moyes' opinion over yours, mate. Um, and and, and um, West Ham, U USA, West Ham, USA. I, I guess that's their name. They put Moyes had the opportunity to buy a striker and didn't. Instead, he's bought in some other world class players. His last three forwards have all been former wingers or attacking midfielders. So I was really surprised. He's, a cho he's chosen an attacking midfielder that can also play striker. Surely by now we should trust him. All day long. Yeah, All I day long. Uh, and I said yeah. this earlier on another stream. The more as we trust. Craven's asking, how is Vlasic risk when he's played in the Premier League? 
before I sort of bat it around Craven, I, th- I think probably the reason is, is because the last time he was in the Premier League, he didn't exactly set the world alight. He had made 12 appearances in the Premier League, 19 appearances in total. Having said that, just to give us a little bit of optimism, I did hear on TalkSport this, this afternoon, yeah, I know there's people saying, what are you listening to that crap for? This uh, driving around in my van, so, you know, forgive me. Um and Graham Beecroft, who's the uh, the Merseyside correspondent for TalkSport, he actually turned around and said that I could see that there was a player um, in Vlasic when he was in the Premier League last. So, yeah, he, he, he thinks that he might be actually a, a sort of like a decent signing for West Ham. Gatesy, can I, I can't really see the names. Can you quickly read out Craven's full name? I, can't, I don't know who it is. Moorhead, Moorhead, Craven Moorhead. Craven Moorhead. God. <laughs> Do you want to read that slowly in your head? What, the last one? <laughs> Look at the name that they wrote out. About Fanta, Fanta pubes. <laughs> Look, read it out. <laughs> oh, the one above it. We can Could sign I... two players from New country alone, no, so that no, no, me that we aren't no. exploring that. And we're only signing one that the twins want Origi, but Moises and Keane. Um, no, Duke, the name on the screen, Craven. <laughs> Craven Moorhead. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh. Are you, Gacy, are you craving Moorhead? <laughs> He's frozen. All day, all day we've managed to get away with it. All day we have not fallen for one. We had Mr. Hunt turn up earlier. We had uh, a man called Don, and his surname was D Kid D Key Dick. And now, no, he's he's left. <laughs> I've out. He's, he's either dropped out or he's embarrassed. Um, we're going to quickly remove uh, Mr. Craven, just because that's that's quite impressive. I'll, I'll give I'll give <laughs> Mr. Craven his due there. He's done really well. Um, Jay, to, you to, fell for it as well. Craven Moorhead has slipped through the cracks. Um, well, he's shorts, my life. Or out of his shorts. If you want your name, no, then, just, just... No, listen, listen. Fair play. Fair play. It took 11 <laughs> hours. It took 11 hours. I'll give you that. Um, I'm going to go back and... Um, <laughs> shut up, you. Harry's, Harry's Vlasic at risk. Now, forget his name. He ain't a risk as far as I'm concerned. Salah. Salah wasn't a... Um... I'm going I'm I'm to shoot him. Let alone mute him. All right? I'm going to shoot him. Now behave your bloody self. We done? Right. Yeah. <laughs> he's not a risk. As far as I'm concerned, he's not a risk. And the reason he's not a risk... Um, at the end of the day, he might not have. He might have. Um... <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going to kick him out. That's what I'm going to do. Like, I'm going to put him back in the green room until he behaves himself. Right now, he can go wait over there now until he behaves himself. Um, he's not a risk. He's played in the Premier League. Um, as far as I'm concerned, did Liverpool think that was Salah? You know, Salah was crap at Chelsea. Left. De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Crap at Chelsea, left, came back, and now look at me, setting the world on fire. Um, so, no, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it, it really isn't a risk. I'm not going to block you, Mr. Head. <laughs> um, is, is Gacy coming back, do you reckon, or do you reckon he's, he's crying in the corner? Um, yeah, so, so very same, much so. Same as Charlie. Same as Charlie, boy. Well played, Charlie. You, you don't do it straight after. Yeah, Charlie, we're not going to fall for it, so it's, we're, we're, you know... Good effort, though. Uh, goals are coming from all over the park. It's the midfield and defence and these tightening. Can't understand why the striker, striker talk is such an issue as a lot of our players will manage at least 10 goals this season. Trust me. Is Eric, you know what? Um, yes, um, I, I agree with that. Cal, what do you reckon? Yeah, I think uh, we we seem to be scoring goals for fun. We seem to be playing some, some great football. So um, I wouldn't really worry too much about the attack it's just more we need we need to bulk out the attack with a few more just to keep it uh safe for injuries but it's the defense that we need to sort and we seemed we've done a bit we've got a 
good a good quality Premier League centre back in. We've got a, a new goalkeeper, and uh, we have a few lads there on the bench that could fill it out, and then a new defensive mid as well. I think. Oh, sort of sorry, I've I've turned it well, Philip. There you go, never mind. Um, stop it. Don't start again. <laughs> Come on. Yes, Mr. Hayden, we are still going. Something kind. Maybe it was a tribute to Bobby Moore. I'm going to hurt you. You carry on. I, I will hurt you. There he is. There's the man. He's, he's back hey, to join us. He's been mugged off. Okay, so you've been mugged back. off live on stream. He's here. Don't worry about that. We, I, I nearly got caught earlier with Donkey Dick. It's fine. Um, right. That was fun. So, where were we? What were we talking about? Got no transfers? Transfers. I'm, cra I'm craving some food. You're craving food? <laughs> 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 not more head. Not more head. Um, Here we go. One minute ago, Fabrizio Romano, Manchester City, young midfielder Claudio Gomez joins Barnsley on loan. Agreement completed in these minutes. Ta -da. Also, also by Fabrizio Romano. Here we go. Sound against to Chelsea. Five yep. million loan. Thirty-five million options buy. I've already done that one. Did you? Yeah, it's fifty-four minutes old. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, breaking, news, breaking news on Sky. Mbappe will join Real Madrid for free next season. I know we've been expecting that to be. Uh, the case, but it's now been announced that he will join them next season. Can someone just confirm for me? Yeah. Are we, with Vlasic, yeah. the most expensive deadline day signing? What, in no. this window? Uh, in well, this no, window? In, I don't know. How much should, how much should we pay for him? I've got to be honest, I've 30, been at work 30, all day, 10. so... Mm -hmm. Okay. 27, 27 plus 7. Yeah, 27 plus 7. So every, everything comes nah. up as undisclosed nowadays, so you never yeah, really know the, the official thing. one. There's definitely one above it. I'm trying to think. Um, oh, well, 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 there's another rumour. Hmm? Yeah, it's just come up on Sky. That's what made me ask. Yes, yeah, at the moment he says I'm right. Oh, Eric Schiff. Arsenal can throw the brain on for 7 million. Just no need for it, Alfie. No need for it. Oh, hang on. Got something come through. What have we got? Fabrizio Romano has just tweeted, Alex Collado leaves Barcelona. Um, as Albert Roj is reporting, deal set to be agreed with Sheffield United on loan until June 2022. Oh, no, the, the most you expensive will. deal of the day is that Emerson to Spurs. I think that's happening um, for 30 million. Blimey. From, um, from Barcelona. Fair enough. Um, Paul's asking the question, would you take Jesse Lingard back on a season-long loan and do we need him? Jazz? Yes, yes. Yeah, we'll take anyone. <laughs> yeah, come in. <laughs> <laughs> come in, come in. Phil Jones is coming in. <laughs> oh, darn. Phil Jones comes in, I'm out. How about you, uh, Cahill? Jesse Lingard? Uh, yeah, I'd take anyone, really, but with the way that Ben Rahm has started so I've heard. with Vlasic in now, uh, uh, I think we're looking all right. I think we take we take anyone though. What about you, West Ham online? Yeah, yeah, I'd probably sign you up at the moment. Be that desperate for players. Andy. Uh, I, I, would I take Lingard back? Definitely. Um, I, I, I'm I'm just looking on Twitter now, and I, I think I think we're just doing another secret. I, I still think a striker's coming in. Everything what I'm seeing, um, I, I think it even could be Dembele, to be honest, from Leon. I think if we go in late with an offer, because they, they need the cash, I can see it happening. We can't get a deal that quick over the line, not West Ham. That's the problem, I think. 
Well, well that's Jazz, it. True. Technically, it can go to one o'clock in the morning, so that's still seven hours. Well, you know how long so you need, don't you? But <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I think we've like everyone was buzzing earlier, and now it seems like we're at wait. I think yeah. I think it's it's if we can get this in. I think there needs to be. I think because we're being told now that it's um. It's kind of over. I think because we've been told now that not to expect too much more coming in or, you know, anything else. It just feels like it's a bit of a, a flat last few hours, you know. But I, I think if we can, if we can get some, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> if we can get, uh, you know, the information going out on um, the fact that we want, you know, another player another player on loan. I think then when we'd start getting that buzz back, I just feel like we've we've tailed off because we've read the messages that have gone, right, that's it. So now all we're doing is we're waiting for the announcement of of Alex Kroll to come through, knowing that that's going to be the end of it. And it's quite frustrating, to be fair. I, it just it, it's wound me up a little bit. So you know, 17 minutes, I don't know if you read this one, Jack Rosser told there is a small chance West Ham had a player for the future after Alex Kroll deal. Not um, if it happened. So, like, do you see what I'm mean? like? It, this could happen. I, I think, I think this could be. I, I, I'm That's not panicking. There's just uh, the problem is with Twitter. Nothing comes through in bloody some some sort of normal day. It drives me up fucking wrong. Mm. Breaking hell. news: <laughs> Andre Frank Zambu Angisa has joined Napoli on loan after signing a contract extension at Fulham. It seems to be becoming quite commonplace. Players going yeah. out on loan, and before they go, they'll sign them on a, con no, a year's contract extension. I think. I think what's happening with him? It's happened twice now. It seems to be the case with a lot of these they players. They get relegated. Every yeah, every time Fulham get relegated, he says, "Right, see you, see you again when you get promoted." Goes on loan, comes yeah. back for a year. They get relegated. Goes on loan, comes back for a year. Same thing. I, I think he's good enough for the Premier League. Like I, I, yeah, I, I would have taken him. Yeah, so he is really good. I don't even know why he signed the contract extension at Fulham Football Club. I suppose he's still getting good money. Yeah, he's guaranteed, guaranteed it. I'm guessing that Matt's talking about Alex Crowell when he says, "Sign that CDM." So, no, yeah. Sorry, guys, this is just broke. Anthony Martial has rejected a pro proposal from Leon, who have approached the Manchester United for a loan deal. Dembele's coming. They wouldn't be. They wouldn't be coming that's, in for that's, him. That's that's from Le, Le Quip or whatever you call it. Le, Le, the that's a good official French one as well, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. But so uh, they can't get. Uh, I think they Leon only have one or two strikers anyway. If they can't get it, yeah anyone in, then yeah. Do you? Do you think that we're leaving this crowd deal late to announce it so we kind of deflect off of the fact that yeah. we're not going to get a strike? Yeah. 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 Definitely. Which is quite ridiculous, isn't it, in the grand scheme of things? To be honest with you, uh, Drew, they probably could have announced him two hours ago, couldn't they? Yeah. This is, this is what me and uh, me and Andy were talking about just before we came off stream. It'd be so easy to like X X announce all we're doing is waiting for the uh, waiting for the signature. Um, how long does it take to put a bit of, a bloody bit of ink on a bit of paper? Like that was two hours ago. Mm. We're still sitting here waiting. Mm. It's now whatever the time <clears throat> is. It's it's now twenty past seven. It was actually three hours ago because it was announced at twenty past. 20 past four, that all we need to do, or up past four. So, it's been nearly three hours. Yeah. Here's a question, chaps. Can we sign free transfers, i.e. players that are out of yeah. contract after 11? Yes, I believe we can. You can sign them any time you want. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Right, if, they wanted, if they wanted me or me or Andy or Carol to join the team, they could sign us right now. They could sign us in a month. Yeah, so Luke, the, the free transfers are still an option, that's for sure. So, is there anyone you? I mean, I'll, I'll open it out to to the panel, if you will. Um, Duke, free 
free transfers? Is there anyone out there that you might be interested in pulling in once the uh, transfer window shuts? Yeah, there probably is. But off the top of my head, I've got a bloody clue. Can you see it on transfer market or anything like that? Does that show who's free? It's, it's, it's yeah. cost. It's Costa, Boateng, Star Sturridge. Well, um, Boateng in Leon. Is he in Leon? Yeah, he's in Leon. Having a having a, a, a contract oh. in America. No, that, I'm not being funny. He's going to want a lot of money. Well, he's going to want I'm just looking on that transfer happens. market. That do you remember that player that I did a stream about about? February, March, a uh, Serbian centre-back called Nikola Maksimovic used to play for yeah. Napoli. He's still available, as is Jerome Boateng. And I know you're a fan of his, Duke. We don't need a centre-back now, do we, really? No. No. But I'm just sort of... I'm quite surprised that he's actually still available, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's The problem with getting these players in on free transfers... Then, the reason they're usually free is because they're old and their wages doesn't justify how good they are anymore. Or, well, if they're if they're free at this point, that's usually it because it's they they've probably been free since the end of last. I season. mean, the, yeah, the, the, there was there was White Bertrand, there was Van there's full backs. There were loads of before. They're all gone now. Yeah, they're snapped up. Just trying to have a look down here, see if there's any. Strikers, I don't think there is actually no one that's of any. Any oh, ah, do you know? Do you know who's available on a free? One of our ex players, Lucas Perez. He's gone today, yeah. I think he's gone somewhere, I think. yeah. Um, uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce names, N N Nicham and Cham, Olivier and Cham, um, yeah. He's, he's coming up, he's coming up as a free agent. Okay. He was someone we were interested in, I think. Yeah. yeah, I think there was a tentative link, wasn't there? He was great at Marseille or something. I think he went to Marseille and he was quite poor. Yeah, he did. I know he went there and uh, he, he didn't uh, set anything alight anyway. But... Yeah. As as Cyber says, guys, there's 17 likes, 50 people watching. It's actually 57. Guys, do us a massive favour, would you? Hit that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel and Touch the iron bell. Isn't that right, Duke? Have I got it right? Touch the bell. Touch the bell. Touch the bell. Just, just give the bell a little press. And uh, apparently, apparently, we are looking to line up a third deadline day deal after Alex Crown. Mm -hmm. The Irons could bring in a player for a fee in the region of £1 million today, but we'll face a race against time to get the deal over the line for the yeah. unnamed player for the future. So, as you said there, Gacy, earlier you mentioned that. What, what's a million going to get you? No, yeah, it's a 16-year-old from the Edonian thing. Yeah, it's uh, not it, going to get you much. It does concern me. Yeah. Before, whilst we're just having a little interlude... Um, this is essentially the reason why we're here, isn't it, chap? So let's give it a little plug. For those 55 of you watching, if you would not mind going to the description below YouTube or Facebook, this information on this banner is in there. All you need to do is copy and paste it to your social media platforms and just get it out there. That's all we need you to do. Get the information out there that there's a six-year-old girl that is fighting for her very life. Um, she's got neuroblastoma. Her name's Isla Caton, and um, she can't get the treatment in this country. So her family have got to raise the funds to get the treatment that's going to save her life. Touch wood. Um, they've got to pay for the treatment, the flights to and from, the accommodation, living costs. Bills are still coming in the UK. So, guys, this is a family that needs our help. And we as West Ham fans, we like to try and pride ourselves on being a family, if you will. And even if you're watching this and you're not actually a West Ham fan, you're just passing through. If, if you've got a, a, a heart and you've got a family and you can empathise with this particular girl in this situation, get this on your social media platform with a little note as to what it's all about. Get the momentum behind this campaign. Should you be so able to do, 
Um, there is a just giving link there, so please feel free to put a couple of quid in the pot should you be able to do so. And I thank you very much indeed for listening. Thought I'd get that one in. Yeah. Says here, uh, Mo Diame is available on a free if he wants to come for some European football, as, as that was his uh, aspirations before. Well, he wanted to be a top six, six um, club, didn't he? Yeah, exactly. That so, worked uh, out well. Didn't he go to Hull? <laughs> yeah, he went to Hull, yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. To be to be fair, Josh, I, I kind of get it. I, I think that Odebeko was probably unlikely to get first-team football. Even yeah. if Antonio got injured, I think that Moyes probably looked at him and just went, fundamentally, he wasn't ready. And to be honest with you, I've seen him play. I, I think he's right. I think yeah. he needs to go out at a championship club and cut his teeth there. And then if he can do it at Huddersfield in the championship, who knows? Who knows? Maybe yeah. he does have a future. But, I, you know, I don't saying, think it's a bad move for the kid. He's got good finishing, doesn't he? His, his general play... It's what needs improving. His general play is not great yet. He doesn't get involved in play enough. Um, and I think he even admitted this himself. So getting championship experience will only benefit him. It won't hurt him. Yeah. yeah. Just a tweet that's come out from Fabrizio Romano in the last minute. Talks are ongoing between Atletico Madrid and Barcelona for an Antoine Griezmann comeback. No Zhao Felix or any other player involved. No Danny Olmo for Barcelona. They ain't got a pot to piss in, have they, Barcelona? Yeah, he's, yeah. he's, going, to, he's going to come back about 50, 50 million. What a yeah. terrible signing that was. What, Griezmann? Yeah. yeah. 800,000 a week or something. Yeah. yeah. They, should, they could have got rid of him and kept Messi. Yeah. Surely, that would have made it more sense. But there you go. Um, just having a little look through the comments here. We've got Kent here. Kerr Smith from Dundee United could be signing left back. Okay. <laughs> got got to be honest. Again, Kent, I have to admit my knowledge of the Scottish football pyramid is, is not... Not fantastic, I've got to say. Any of you guys aware of this this Kerr Smith from Dundee United? Yeah, he's 16. He's the 16-year-old. That's the 16-year-old that we were wanting for under 1 million. So, it's very uh, unexciting. Because what happened to Josh Doig? He was mentioned at, at one point, as I recollect. Don't know. I'm not too sure. He, that, that all went out the window. That all just died of death, mate. I've not heard nothing since. Yeah. It, Josh Warren. Um, I mean, Malsey and I saw Oco Flex and, and also Duke as well in the Ebbsfleet game, didn't we? What, what were your thoughts? Yep. Do, you, do you think he could be playing in cup games as a, as a striker? You're going to start him against United in, in the League Cup third round? Yeah, I, to be honest, I wouldn't wouldn't be no. uh no you'd absolutely smash the poor sod's confidence we well, did it once before no we did it once before against um Northern forest in the cup mate got absolutely slated and the next thing you know um we're, we're, we're not interested you know um there was a big sand decided to turn them all out from to from to the walls it went wrong and he blamed them for everything and, and it ruined the confidence. And Did I, we have I back to get back games where we got smashed? We got, was it 5 0 at Forest and then it was, didn't we get, that was the following game was 6 0 in the League Cup? At yeah, man, the City Etihad was final. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we lost 12 0 in aggregate. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, yeah. it, it, it worked because we were in a relegation battle at that point and we got out of it. So I suppose you could turn around and say, it, it was the right move, but obviously for those players, they were a little bit of sacrificial lambs, weren't they? Big Sam's tactical. And that's my point. If you do the same, we did the same. We did the same to Odebeku last year. Threw him on for 20 minutes. Poor Sod didn't do any training with the, with the first team. Didn't know any of the tactics or the formations, formational setup that, um, the, that we were playing out there against United in the Cup. And then 20 minutes later, he was hauled off because he looked shit. Now, 
It's going to happen if you don't train with the first team. You're not told the tactics or the positional play when your team's out of uh, possession. So, no, leave, don't, don't do it because you're going to shatter in the confidence. And I think that's why we didn't see Odebeku much more. Yeah, Fair but enough. Could you, make the other for trouble. could you make the other argument that we've got three games in six days and we don't really need to focus on the Carabao Cup? I think he's... What say you, chaps? Because all you're going to do is really... Stop it. Sorry, I thought my internet had gone there. Deep size. It's a bit of a slow window, it seems. It's 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 dragging on. Should we talk about food? Why not? Who's having who's having what for their dinner? I had croquet potatoes. Um, oh, you've had yours. Yeah. Oh. Go on. Who's next? <laughs> Jazz, what are you having for your grub? Yeah, I had um we went to a restaurant a couple of days ago, so I just reheated that and it <laughs> <laughs> Go on, what was it? Yeah, it was Indian, mate. Chicken curry. <laughs> two Not days in a row, Jazz. <laughs> Not as good as your wife's, I'm sure. Uh... That's two days in a row. <laughs> I'm just emptying the fridge, mate. I was eating cake at lunchtime, leftover from the party. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> What's this? Josh Woods. Uh, jo sorry, Jay Woods. Josh Madger available for four and a half million. Bid been accepted. Who's Josh right. Madger? I don't know. He's a striker. Was that um, Fulham, He was, was at it? Sunderland. He was on loan at Fulham. He was on loan at Fulham. Fulham. Uh, I think he was... Did he go to a French club from Sunderland? Is that, um... Bordeaux, I think. Yeah, Bordeaux. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Oh, hello, Matt. Was it with liquor? Was it with liquor, <laughs> Mister Ray? <laughs> it, it, needs, it needs to have been with liquor, really. Please yeah. tell me. Was it homemade, or did you get it from a shop? And if it was a shop, give the shop a shout out. Why not? Let us know. I've got no idea what I'm going to say. Have you two had dinner, Duke, Andy? Have you had anything to eat? I saw him chomping on all like a spring roll earlier. I don't know what they're eating. <laughs> um, we, 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 had, uh, we had chicken and chips uh, for dinner. Um, someone's just posted uh, 31 seconds ago that why don't we move for Josh Madger on loan as a, as a striker. He seemed, to do, he seemed to do all right when he went to Fulham against us at least. We, we, just, we discussed him about 60 seconds ago. Oh, did you? Well, I wasn't here, was I? No. Sorry. My apologies. <laughs> Kareem Adi Amy, that's all I want. Yeah, there's not much to talk about now, is there? We're in a bit of bother for the next Yeah, time. we're just talking food. Paul says chicken fajitas without the wrap and salad. He's on a diet. I need to be on one. I went to the gym yesterday for the first time in Yonks. I went on a diet about a month ago and it lasted four days. Oh, lifetime for you, I, de I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Abu, probably. Probably. Yeah. yeah it Words and pictures. Sweet chilli king prawn noodles with veg. Homemade. Oh, now, Matt. I'll tell you what. They do tip-top pie and mash, Maureen's, I've got to tell you. Yeah, because I, I went to Goddard's once in Greenwich. It wasn't all that. Yeah, yeah, that one I'm not too, yeah, not too not in sure. love with. I've got to say, right by the Cutty Sark, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, yeah, Maureen's with a bit of with liquor, not gravy, not gravy. My daughter has it with gravy, and I'm, I'm very disappointed. You're not a fan of it, are you, Duke? No, I fucking hate it. 
<laughs> I, I think that's the most common reply I hear. I, I'm okay with both. I don't mind. Yeah. I prefer gravy, but I can have liquor. It's fine. Liquor's crap. It's so bad. I'll be a. It is. It tastes nothing. It, it just tastes terrible. It's just not very nice. It looks horrible. It ruins the plate. It, it causes a stain for no reason. It's just what people from the East End... I hate to break everyone's hearts here. It's what people from the East End... Everyone's pretending to like it now to be a part of the culture. Oh, no, 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 no. Yep. No. Yep. There's no way I'd eat eels. I wouldn't eat eels. No way. I've had stew deals. No. Jelly no deal way. though I wasn't too keen on. No. I'm going near that. No. What about you, Malsey? Yeah, I, I eat jelly eels. Nice. Oh my god! Oh. Roll mops, studios, roll mops. My mother-in-law likes them. Um, Put out the most obvious tweet of all time, um, which we already knew. It's just another tweet from the tapping mode. Nicholas Tagliafico will not join West Ham. Never been close. The Argentinian left back is staying at Ajax this summer. Mm. That was kind of a. a, 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 a given i think in the grand scheme of things shame i think he'd have been abu, he'd have been abu a good fit should I go to bed i'm very tempted myself abu to be honest with you mate i'm bloody knackered i brought his comment up about two minutes ago <laughs> jesus too, too busy reading twitter mate sorry <laughs> I agree with Big Sam. Arsenal have got a couple of points there. What, do the oh. meal replacement work? Have you felt like... I think this is probably directed at you, Milesy. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. I'm smashing it, mate. Over two stone I've lost now. Probably two hell. stone? Well Jesus. Done. How long's that now? About a month? Yeah, about a month or so, yeah. Crikey. So it feels like two stone. <laughs> I, confirm, I, confirm, I confirm after I've had the chicken, a uh, chicken and chips today. Ah. Yes, that's the problem. No, does, but does, no, I had a couple of them today. What's what's the um your your meal replacement or whatever it is of of choice? Give it a shout out for Abu. He might it might help him out. Uh, y food. If you just go on Y food, they're meal supplements. So um, I've got like twenty six minerals in them. I am in conversation with them to. So if they'll sponsor us and give us a discount code, but they're what I'm waiting for them to get back to us. So. Yeah, fair enough. So, Cyber's just said that uh, QPR have signed Andre Gray. Yeah. Fair yeah, enough. He's Good been, yeah, he's, he's championship down player. Order. Yeah. yeah. Championship player, in fairness. He's, he's going to be rubbish now. He's got twins for him running around. Or a ball a couple of weeks ago. Oh, right. Mm. I, I agree. I agree, Kent. Uh, Nathan's, yeah, it was, it was like walking into a into a time capsule, wasn't it? In Nathan's, you sort of walked <laughs> in, and it was like it was like you were going back to the nineteen sixties or something like that. But I quite, I, I enjoyed it. Did you ever go in there, Jeff? Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, it was it was actually on a non match day when I went because match days, I think it was a fairly longish queue. Um, yeah, I, I did go during the weekdays. Yeah. Oh, breaking news. A massive transfer here, actually. Go for it. Harrogate Town. We're delighted, oh. to, announce... We're delighted to announce the loan signing of Jack Diamond. Welcome Who? back, Jack Diamond. Who? I don't know. Never heard of him. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Jack Diamond. But... <laughs> yeah, but Harrogate. Um, something like that, so that's a high-profile one for you. Milesy. Mm-hmm. On your Sunday roast, what's your what's your choice? Chicken, beef, or lamb? Matt says it's lamb pork. for him. Pork. He missed out pork. <laughs> Matt, he's going pork. What about you, Duke? Chicken. Chicken. Cattle? Uh, I'd go chicken and ham. Oh. No, you got to choose one. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Well, like with chicken, you need some nice gravy. You can have ham by itself. Ham has enough sort of flavour to it. You can have it by itself. Chicken's a bit now. Yeah. So I'll go ham. He's going ham. He's going. He's going the pork route. Jazz. Put it on your Sunday roast. Yeah, my favourite is roast beef, but 
I usually have chicken most of the time, but if I'm out and about, especially, um, um, God, what's that place called? Uh, oh, bloody hell, what's the place? It's usually, it's a chain, isn't it, that does um, roast? Uh, Toby Carvery? Yeah, yeah, Toby. So I usually go for a bit of everything. But yeah, roast beef is my favourite. Yeah, I think that's the best. Yeah. West Ham Online, you're, you're, you're to complete the, the set. Um, roast. Dave. Okay. Okay. Duke, you said um, pork with the crackling. Are you a fan of the no, crackling? Sorry? I said chicken. He said pork. Oh, he said pork. Sorry. Oh. I'm getting some feedback from you there, uh, West Ham Online. Yeah. Yeah, he's having a dump. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not having a dump. <laughs> Thanks like, for that. <laughs> Dude, question for you from Cyber. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Uh, um, words words and pictures asking a really important question. No, no. I yes! Don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't eat the crust. So do you thing. not? I always do nope. stuffed crust, so yeah, I do. If there's something wrong with you, look. Right, lads, I'll be back in a little bit. See you later. That's That's right, it was a dump, wasn't it? No. <laughs> just going to add that to the... That's literally just come through from Fabrizio Romano. Um, long story short, it doesn't look like Kylian Mbappe is going anywhere. We probably already knew that, but he's just reinforcing the point that Kylian Mbappe looks like he's probably going to be leaving on a free. You didn't look do you, too happy, do you think he's coming to London Stadium, chaps? Yeah, he didn't look too happy when Sky were looking at him training. Yeah, he looks like he'd just been told, like by his agent, that they're playing hardball. So yeah, he's not happy. He's apparently a Real Madrid fan. I mean, yeah, whatever. Peach is so, asking for the link. Okay, hardball. What what club? And I don't care whether they're they're owned by Qataris or anything else. What club owned by? You know, the Royal Family shakes and everything else. No club in the world can afford to turn down 200 million quid. No, no, they can't. It is a bit crazy, isn't it? Apparently, PSG were only formed in 1970, Sky was saying. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was a, it was a merger between two clubs. I can't remember the two clubs in question, but yeah, that is correct. Paris so they're, they're... And yeah, it sounds about right. Oh, this is this is what one from Wheelstone for you, Duke. Yeah, yeah, Huang Yi Chan. Uh, it, it pissed me off. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. When I saw him go, like, uh, yeah. been talking about him for weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks, probably months. I've spoken about Huang Yi Chan, spoken about Kareem Eddie, Amy. Um They're just sat in front of you. They're two naturally gifted strikers. You know, pacey. Just very, very good, and and here we are. You know, one's gone to one of our rivals. The other one we've not even, even apparently had a look at. It's just it's ridiculous, mate. Yeah, yeah. Quang, Eduardo, Armstrong, Ing. Which which one do you think you'd have gone for out of those? Do you think you'd have been been? I know you've been championing Quang, but out of those, do you still think you'd have been going for him ahead of the other three? Yeah, I would have listened. Uh, as I said, I watched a lot of I watched a lot of European football, uh, German, Austrian, and Huang He Chan is is the real deal. Um, a bit like Pat and Daka, he's a pacey, good finisher, um, and I think we'll see a lot of them this year. There'll be a lot of goals scored between the two of them this year. Mosey, really? how about yourself with those those four? What would be your choice? Uh... Probably Armstrong for me, out of them, younger. Uh, the last two weekends, he's, become, he's, he's been the fastest player in the Premier League on record, uh, on sprints. So mm. the, the player we've been crying out for, in my opinion. So, yeah, no, definitely for me. And Cahill? Uh, I'd kind of take anyone, but uh, I've always been a fan of sort of <laughs> we, like... We've uh, heard that. Uh, Odson, Odson, Edward. Wow. I think uh, someone like Edward would have been would have been good to get in. I think he's going yeah. to Palace now. 
But uh, I think Crazy. I would have taken uh, Huang He Chan as well. He's he, he looks fast. He's a good shot on him. So sort of ideal uh, ideal striker. How about yourself, Jazz? Out of those four, what would be well, your choice? Armstrong. Yeah. So I know you you sort of think he's quite reminiscent of a Tony Cotty, don't you? Yeah, like you said, he is, um, looks like he's going to settle in fairly quickly. He's, I think he scored a goal, set one up, very fast, active. And I was worried about the size of him, but he seems to be quite bright and gets around a bit. So he'll be okay, I think. Yeah, Armstrong. And, and, and that price, isn't it, Marzi? Was it 15 million? That's really cheap, you know? 14, 15 yeah. million? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't get anything cheaper. Now. If you don't really want to pay that much, then you've really got issues, haven't you? Yeah. Um, Andy, Stevie C's mm-hmm. asking the question Is the Carabao Cup a non event, especially when the winner's prize money is only £100,000? I never knew that. Um, blessing in disguise to lose to Man U and concentrate on the league and Europa. What say yeah. you? I uh, couldn't agree more. Yeah, no, I agree on that. Um, I'm, not, I'm not really too fussed about the Carabao Cup anyway, to be perfectly honest. Just. It's a okay. Mickey Mouse Cup, um, and if I had to try it, I'd be going all out in the Europa League. We're in, uh, Dan, Dan was saying it earlier as well. You're in, you're in the Carabao Cup every year. Europa League could be a few years if, if true, if it doesn't happen. Cahill? Yeah, like it's it's if it's a cup that we can win, I would take it. But I'd rather perform well in the league and get a good run in uh, Europe than. Uh, just go for a Carabao and then let them all falter. How about yourself, Jazz? I'm very traditional, so growing up as a kid, League Cup, Milk Cup, whatever, it was very, very important, and I stick by that. I, I like all the cups, I think, yeah. So I think we should reasonably go for all of them. And, yeah. and Yeah. Well, Peach is in the building. How about you, mate? Oh. Has his internet frozen on him? He's he's frozen, hasn't he? Oh dear! Oh, you with us? Yeah. Peach, you there? Earth calling Peach. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Wow, look at this. Come on, Pete. Why is it so quiet? Is that right, Alex? That's, That's not right. Hold on, let me come back. It's so, what's up, everybody? But hold on, my mic is like low. My mic not be low, but I can't hear my favorite people, so that's low. And I don't like that. Hold on one second. That's all right, mate. Take your Stupid ass microphone. I hate you it. see that? How many, how many players? Um, there's a <laughs> yeah, team in Italy. Big up, Steve. Incredible. Oh, yeah. Marzi, I didn't know Harry's back in the job, Red Yeah, I know. I, know. <laughs> I think he's on Sky soon, anyway. I think he's doing the last, the last show, I think. Now... Hmm. This is literally a minute ago. Ex WHU employee in response to at Nath WHU asking the question, anything other than Crow, mate? The response was yes, slight chance of a young player coming in. Oh, God. Yeah, but that's going to be the Dundee fella. Hmm. Uh, no, Smith, is it? Possibly. Or you've got. Adam Plossett is only 19. Hmm. Huh. Striker? Yep. That'd be a decent one. I think there'd be a bit more buzz to it than just saying possibly a young lad, though. If it was Plossett. Mm. Unless he's just keeping his cards close to his chest. I wish yeah, we had possibly. owners like PSG. That'd be nice. Oh. <laughs> Man, me. Man City young midfielder, young guy Tommy Doyle joined Hamburg on loan. Again, not a name that's familiar to me, Cyber. Um, I can't say I'm particularly well up on the youth team of Manchester City. Um, 
Wilsden, sleep well, my friend. Six out of ten window. Needed a striker. He's so depressed. Going to, going to Banazoo. No idea. No idea what that last bit even means. Um, me. Ah, right. <laughs> yeah, not okay. my scene. Not my okay. scene. So, there you go. Uh, Haroldinho, welcome, mate. Don't forget, drop a like on the stream if you wouldn't mind. Um, I can't be asked to hit the. Uh, um, the uh, animation. The, 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 yeah, so Kersmith or Lewis Lee of Preston is another one that could be in the mix. Lewis Lee of they, Preston. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, 42 seconds ago, BBC Sport, a blockbuster signing. Newcastle have signed 19 year old Mexican striker Santiago Munoz. And I've got to say, um, is he is he um, sporting Lisbon? No, I think like he came from Lisbon a club. Kit. He came from a club in Mexico, but that's it's it's basically the same name as your man from the movie Goal, which is that's what people are going mad over. All right, because he was the Newcastle assigned lad called Santiago Munoz in that one as well. Fair enough. Uh, in answer to your question, Cyber, I am at home. I did go to the pub, and it was a little bit busy, wasn't it, Milesy? Yeah, no, it was. Um, it is what it is. What it is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, we done well. We lasted what eight hours or so. Down to it's a good, good, good sign of business to be busy on a Tuesday evening, I suppose. Take yeah. it in yeah. that way. Well, I think Paul's to asking. Paul's asking if you if. Do you think there's another one to come? I know you think there's... you still holding out hope for the striker, Malsey. I think Origi. I think Origi will be done. I still, I still think it's going to happen. They do I'm what Chelsea the does. Um, they, they, they do what Chelsea do. When when, they, when you've got a youngster or, or a strike or a player you don't want to get rid of but want to loan out, that's what they've done with Bashuai. <laughs> Before Bashuai yeah. went out on loan, they started gave him a new deal so his value don't go down. Looks like uh, Barcelona progressing in negotiations to sign Luke de Jong from Sevilla. Talks God. are now advanced to sign the Dutch striker. Personal terms agreed and club close to reaching an agreement from Fabrizio Romano's Barca Twitter really account. Off. Now He's I can good. hear y'all. I can hear y'all before. It was like we can like certainly hear you. Man, man. I can hear y'all. JC, what's up, my G? Dude, um, Robbie's in the building. Mozzie's in the building. Ra, ra, ra. Think it's thinking, la, la, la. Big up, Steve. Oh, no, is that Steve? Who is no, that? That's, that that's... Oh, my brethren. I got his back 100. State brethren, I got your back one. Yo, this way. Brethren, I got your back 100. Yo, piss on the other man then. You get me? Done, no. Real hard. <laughs> I got you, homeboy. Straight up, man. Family's family. You get me? Yes. How's, how's your day going, my friend? What's that? What's that, blood? I say, how's your day going? It, it, it's forward from iron. My day has been forward from iron since I woke up till I choke up till I choke up till I doke up till I woke up. I can't wait to choke up. But, yo, honestly, it's been forward from iron. It's been West Ham on official. That's it. Forward from iron, West Ham on official. Done. Yo, you, you guys have been holding it down. I know I don't got my dick to do on no more, but you guys have been holding it down. Enough respect. Any any news on on crawl? Is that true? Is that true? Is the front door? Mousy? I couldn't hear the last bit. Sorry, Paige. Let me know, man. It's crawl from the front door, sorry, though. Oh, sorry, what? Sorry, it's very echoey. Go on, sorry, go on. It's wrong. It's it's wrong through the front door. Like stay up. No, not yet. Not yet. Yo, we need we need two more. We need two more. We need two strikers and one striker in the left back. Big up, Hammond fans united. It's in the building, but we need two more. We need two more, man. We need two more for an exceptional transfer window. It's not quantity. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not quantity. It's quality. I love it. 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 I love it a lot. 
Who do you think realistically we need to get in? If you're talking about two signings, Peach, realistically, yeah. who would you like to see come through the door? Bamba. Bamba, not Bambi. Bambi can like stay skating on ice, so we don't need Bambi. We need Bamba. And I'd have uh, Luca uh, Pellegrini, but I don't like to call him Pellegrini, so I'm calling him Luca. Luca and Bamba. Done. Oh, Jazz is in the building. Jazz is in the building, but he's not coming to Brampton. He's not coming to Brampton. Jazz is in the building. Jazz is in the building, but he's not coming to Brampton. He's not coming to Brampton. You might have noticed Jazz Peach is in the building. <laughs> no, Jazz is in the building, though. Jazz is in the building. But it's like Rude Boy, man. Like, like, you know, like things. I mean, he knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, if 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 you're allowed to or you you're not, you've you've put it there, so whatever, everyone can see it, so it is what it is. Um, if you're not allowed to, then well, I dare say X will put you on a yellow card and warn you about your future conduct. Just make sure you don't go in for any more two footers. Uh, Jack wheelchair is signed. I'm not on no yellow card, Doc. <laughs> Did he sign for um for Como? I ain't though? had no yellow cards, Doc. I'm on like I ain't not, I ain't had no nothing cards, Doc. What do you mean? Not, not you. I was talking to Tom. <laughs> Pay attention. Behave yourself, Casey. Behave yourself, Casey. I can do that, mate. I can put you back in I the green am... room. Talk I to think... me about behaving. See, I've got the I've got the mouth. Yo, that's real banter. That's real banter, not like that bollocks banter. That's real banter right there. Oh, dear. I um, he, yeah, he, do he it, Tom. With his, uh, he had issues with his... Yo, man, he put some the fighting gloves on, dog. Straight up, I'm playing with you, man. Sorry, carry on, Jazz. Yeah, I heard he had issues with them um, getting that deal over the line because obviously UK's out of the EU. bit of delay with the paperwork, I heard. What, Wilshire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually think he'll do all right there because I think he'll he'll get more time on the ball. I I just think he needs to refer to himself and the club and just retire. Really, honestly speaking, I think. Wow. Yeah, he. he I'm sure. I just, yeah, you've got to call it a day, and I'm sure he's got a lot of business ventures he can get into, and perhaps go a TV pundit or something like or coach. Yeah, that's what I would do. I think if I was him, yeah, yeah, he he did very very briefly. Tom, he did get Simbind. Um, he's gone to Como, I do believe. Um, I'm just bringing up there on uh, Fabrizio Romano's Twitter page. Antoine Griezmann deal now advanced between Barcelona and Atletico Madrid. Working on final details of the negotiation, it's expected well, to be a loan with an obligation to buy work in. Progress. Who's that for, Gatesy? That's for Antoine Griezmann going from Barcelona back to Atletico Madrid on loan with a, an option obligation, excuse me, to buy. Wow! Wow! One of the probably one of the we we're discussing it earlier. Probably one of the worst transfer deals in history in a lot of ways. Yeah. Not saying he was a crap player, but it just didn't really work out for him there, did it? No. Apparently, Mbappe added also like added West Ham on on, on Instagram. Is Mbappe coming to West Ham? <laughs> yeah, you you might. Imagine, talk, you might see imagine him we like we imagine we like sign up Mbappe like last minute. <laughs> I'm dreaming. I know I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. Yeah, this is this is really boring transfer window at the minute, isn't it? Yeah, we... but that's why we bring the excitement, dog. You got Jazz, you got Gates, you got Mobs, you got we normally, you got Mike, we normally talk we about food. online. What do you mean? This is this is exciting times. We got more exciting times than the spawning in the transfer window, straight up. Oh business. Like Gates you signing for West Ham. Jazz signing for West Ham. Duke and Duke and, and Mousy, they didn't make the cut because they failed their medical. And then you got West Ham online signing for West Ham. Yeah, I'm telling you. 
Let's open it out to the favourite host- holiday destinations. Why not? Why not? We've come. Let's we're go. almost at the end of the the summer holiday period. The, the six week Let's break. Milesy, your favourite holiday destination. Go on, Milesy. Which one you want to go or you uh, want to go to? Go on, um, Milesy. I'm going back. I'm going back to Bali, mate. Oh, yes, you are. Where? Yeah, but Bali, Bali was amazing. I'll, I'll go back there. I went there for three weeks. I visited all the different islands. Uh, chilled out. I was a millionaire for three weeks. I took, <laughs> I took 16 million pounds of local money. Waving. Argos? Where's Argos, Doc? Yeah, no, it's definitely a, definitely a, definitely a great part of the world. The only thing is an 18 hour flight, but apart from that, it's all right. Why don't you go to Brixton, dog? Like, 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 stay, stay Jason at Brixton or like my side, dog. Like, stay up, man. Like, yo, you got to be looking at like places like Southern France, dog. Or like, what's that place, man? What's that place, man? The, 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 uh, uh, Bow Bow, uh, Boo Bow, uh, Bow Bow. Yo, that place was tight, man. And this, uh, Cool Tail, that place was tight, dog. Straight up, man. I ain't playing with you. I love to go to them when it's there, dog. Barbados, dog. Jazz, where are you going on your, 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 like, dream vacation, man? Adita? I think it's hard to pick one location, but, um, I mean, probably the most exotic place I've been to so far is Seychelles. Um, that was nice. Um, that's dope. Yeah, that's really nice. That's yeah. really nice. I think I've done yeah. Seleucia, Barbados. But the yeah. one, the one coming up perhaps next year, we're looking at, will be Sri Lanka. I think next year with a bit of luck. I think, yeah. No, that'll be dope, still, man. That'll be dope, still, man. But I've been lucky. I've never had a bad holiday. I've enjoyed everywhere where I've gone, be it, whether it's Mallorca or Rome or Switzerland or whatever. You know, even in the UK, Scotland, for example. Yeah, I, I think I think the world's a beautiful place. Everywhere's really nice. I think. So I've been a bit fortunate. I've enjoyed meeting people from different backgrounds and. I'm a bit. I'm a bit of a foodie. I love my food, so I love trying different food and all kinds of weathers. So yeah, I think the whole world is beautiful, mate. Yeah, every country's got something to offer. Yo, Dad, let me ask you: when when you go on vacation, right? It's like you you got to check the villages, like the local villages, right? Not shut up, like M M M M M M fifty four or M five one, like yo, I don't know, man. I like to speed on the road, like that, you know, like. Grace man, Anthony, Anthony Hamilton thing does. But like, yo, when 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 you are you, when you go on vacation, you check out like the little villages and and the local food. Like that that that's my favorite. Like I go check out little villages, the local food, and get get a taste for like what they. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cahill, uh, yeah. sorry, uh, Duke. Same question to you. Holiday destination. No, no, Gacy, you're no, your turn, Gacy. Where do you want to no, no, go? No, 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 no. We'll go to Duke first. No, Gacy, you you brought it up. There he goes. <laughs> oh, no. Back oh, in the naughty step. Back in the naughty step. Duke, talk oh, to me. I love God, man. Rhode Island. Oh. Why so? I have family out there, so it's my favorite holiday destination. Um, what, Boston? Duke's going to Boston? Rhode Island, Peach, yeah, West Warwick. There are many, many, many better places than Boston, though. Straight up. I ain't playing with you, man. Like, they don't wear red socks for a reason, though. Like, many other better places than Boston, though. Straight up, man. Nope. Good thing. Other than family, Duke, what's what what attracts you to, to that part of the world? Um, I think it's the history. Obviously, uh, there are certain uh, certain areas of New England, obviously, where we landed when we decided to go and um, try and remove the indigenous life form from um, from Boston and from America's. Um, but it's just, yeah. it's just the, the history. It's the it's just the feel. Um, it's just, if I'm honest, I'd, I'd love the place. And if I, if I had the chance to go, I'd, I'd move out there tomorrow. I'd fuck it all and, and be gone and out the door. And uh, that's where I'd be. Where Boston? Where are Boston? Rhode Island. Oh, beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful. 
moved there because like that's like two hours away from me by my flight, dog. I can come bug you every day of the week, dog. How do you mean? Yeah, I'm staying here. <laughs> that's what I was saying. I'm like a bad rat, dog. You went to Boston? He to be like knock, 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 knock at your door like every second weekend, dog. How do you mean? What could possibly go wrong? How about yourself? Everything. Kathy? Everything. Everything. Trust me. Yo, we need these to go. The boys in the back room better be doing their business right now, man. Like, honestly. They better be doing their business right now. I want two more signings, man. I need to be playing. Looks like Wolves have missed out on Sergio Oliveira from Porto. Yeah. Yo, hold up, hold up. I'm just going to get a Red Bull because I'm feeling a bit tired. So I'm going to get a Red Bull. So I woke up at like 3 in the morning just to come on this thing. Uh, I'm getting a Red Bull. Hold on two seconds. I'll be right back. Yep, take your time, mate. Cahill, talk to me. Holiday destinations. Just to pass um, the time away. Why not? Yeah, um, like, it's stay good. There's a few uh, good sort of like staycation places around Ireland. Like, go... go Good weekend out in Galway or something's always great crack. Uh, go up to Belfast or something like Dublin. Dublin's not great for staycations, but to go out far and like, I don't know. I I would like to get over to England. I suppose it's, it's nothing too exotic now, but uh, I like getting over to England. Maybe get a match or something, and then uh, I don't. I'm not. I haven't really travelled too much. Uh, I've been to Spain. It's like it's all right. It's nice weather. Mm. That's it. Madrid, Madrid's not the nicest city to be in. I don't, I didn't think. Uh, Barcelona's nice. Um, Paris as well. It's a bit too. I don't know. It's a bit too much for me, really. I wasn't, wouldn't be the biggest fan. Just sort of a nice staycation. I'd, I'd love to go to Puerto Rico or something. My, my dad worked there for a while, and he said it's class. So he said we'd like to go there sometimes. So I suppose that's the dream destination. But I don't really have a, too many places I've gone to. Yeah. I mean, Peach asked it earlier. I'll answer the question then, Peach, but you're not there for to listen to it, so tough luck. Um, <laughs> um, my favourite place where I've been to so far abroad is a place called Saragurmi in Turkey. Um, beautiful place. Went to like a five-star hotel with the family and had a really good time. And the people there were really friendly. And, uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a very good holiday. In the UK, I'd probably go Cornwall. Anywhere in Cornwall. Just beautiful place. We, we've we just come back from a place quite close to Perham Porth called uh, Trevallis. And we, we've been there the last three years. And it's, you know, it's, it's really nice. You know, there's no traffic. Everyone's very relaxed, chilled, friendly. It's, it's completely different to living in London in the Southeast where it's very angry. Dare rat, I say? Rat, rat race, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I mean, Tom says North Devon. Um, I've never actually done North Devon. Uh, where, where have you been, Tom? Talk to me. Give me, give me some recommendations. Sell North Devon to us. The North De Devon tourist board. He's, he's back. <laughs> have you had, you had anything to eat, Duke? Yeah, me and uh, Miles, you had some chicken and chips earlier. Uh, you, you boys look like you're, you're running on fumes. <laughs> We might we might go down there. We well, might skip off for an hour and go get some of the week, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do it. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for a bath, hot bath, mate. I'll be back as well. <laughs> I think my yeah. mind's gonna be clear tomorrow. It's not. The window it's not much happening. To be fair, it's it's. I think once the window closes. That's the frustrating through. thing is there's absolutely nothing going on. Mm. Absolutely nothing going on. So we what end we up talking do, holiday distance. <laughs> <laughs> and then if anything does happen that's interesting, we can all jump back on a bit later if need be. Oh, I'm happy to waffle on. Oh, that's <laughs> fine. Oh, then, oh, no worries. Fine. We shall see you in a bit. Yeah, yeah we'll come later. come back. I'll, I'll probably still be here talking crap. Yeah, I'll be back. As I do. Um, well, well, yeah. I see you in a bit, lovelies. And then there were three. 
Then there were three in the place of B, J, C, and West, Cap, O, S, I, L, I, and E. I warn anyone that, that Peach does like to sing. Anyone that's that subscribed today, Peach likes to warm up his vocal cords every now and again. With, with a I, little, like to, I like to warm up my vocal cords, JC. It's like, it, it's just the nature of being. Nothing's going on in the transfer window yeah. and it's making me a thing. I want to see some chances. I want to see a Ford in the left back. But I don't get that. I'll be left back, left back, like I'll be on the wreck rack. I want to see two things, dog. I'm saying, come on, like, yo, we got money. Yeah, right. So, just having a little look, I've just had a notification. Is it anything interesting? No, it's about bloody baseball, major league. Although oh, I shouldn't say bloody baseball because Duke Duke would tell me off. I've I've. Do you know what? I've never been to a baseball game. I I wanted to go to London Stadium that time that they had the was it the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees play a couple of years yeah, ago it was the Yankees and the Sox, yeah but I, it, I, it, I, I never ended up getting around to it honestly yeah, it's, um, it's a piss up man. that's all it is it's a piss up like it, 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 it's it's a sad watching paint dry and you can have two drinks and two hot dogs two hamburgers have a, have a chat with the crowd and that's it it's no, it's no sport, man. It's not like football, man. It ain't no sport, man. Yeah, just having a little look. My my phone is tweeting at me. All oh, right, okay. Hang on a minute. Just gonna have a look on Fabrizio Romano's. Okay. Interesting. Yo, West Ham Online. What are you saying? You all right, Doc? That's not West Ham Online, mate. Oh, I thought it was West Ham Online. Who is that? I, 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 I'm just chilling here. I'm just bloody lying down. Oh, it's <laughs> Taza. It's Taza. I left him a yeah. message saying, like, yo, I was seeing him saying that, like, it was good to hear his voice back on YouTube, dog. Straight up. Big up Taza, man. I missed you, man. I missed you, man. Straight up. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm back now. It's been it's been a while. It's been a few weeks. Back in effect, I like that. Stop me. Pin yourself up, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is. To be honest, I I gotta say, I'll be completely honest. Uh, my hat is off to Duke and Milesy for doing this since eight o'clock. Oh, one hundred percent. There is absolutely 100%. bugger all happening. Absolutely bugger all happening. I'm hitting refresh. I'm going on Sky Sports News. I'm going on BBC News, BBC Sport, um, Fabrizio Romano, um, Cave Solicole, you know, all, all the places where you'd expect to get some decent news, XWHU yeah. employee, and yeah. there's just nothing happening. It's just God almighty. I, I, honestly, I don't, know, I don't know how they've, they've spent the last couple of hours. I mean, I've jumped on here and there, and they're sort of like they're chatting away. Um, and now I'm I'm getting told by my daughter to eat my dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm probably. Well, you don't get dinner, what, 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 what do you have for dinner, JC? Pasta. What kind of pasta? Like like tell a pico, tell a pico um, pasta. What's what's the pasta? Tell yeah, a pico. No, what is the pasta? Are you no. Excuse me. Cochinelli. Oh, big up Princess Guy. Big up Princess Guy. All the time. Yeah. No, she's not going to eat it, mate. Don't worry. Um, I'm. I'm. I'm just you know saying, big up Princess Guy, guys. Like, yo, ooh, that's, 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 that's the that's the that's the boss right there. Alert. 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 Hold on. Is this anything interesting? Oh, this actually involves a team in the Premier League. Hello. Look at this. Yeah, I'll just bring it up. There you go. Negotiations between Everton and Porto for Luis Diaz have definitely collapsed. No agreement and no way to find a solution in the next hours. So we're at a stage that Diaz deals are breaking news and they're the best thing. That, that, that's the, yeah. the light at the end of the tunnel there. This is really scraping the bottom of the barrel territory, isn't it? <laughs> So yeah. I, I'm not too sure that the next transfer window will will do one that lasts between eight and whenever. That's just like, oh, yes, the shell one, Luke, the shell one. 
Yeah. I, I, to be honest, I didn't even know what it was called. I, you know, if it's, um, if it's, you know, spaghetti and, and sort of like, then I'm okay. And then when it sort of starts going into twisty shapes and all the rest of it, I'm, I'm lost, mate. That was why I married a chef. You know, we met, our eyes met over the dance floor. And I found out she was a chef and that, and that was it. That was it. Oh, all the pasta here. shapes you could, you could be having. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was living on uh, pot noodles up that point and, you know, uh, oh, hang on, hang on. No, I never said, well, did I, I might have said that once. I might have said, I might have said this once. I might have to own up to this. I might have turned around to my wife and said that her job was actually a hobby. This is, this is turning into an episode of Jeremy Kyle now. Yeah, I, I might have to own up to this one. I, I might have once turned around and said that her job was just a hobby but that in fairness in fairness to me before anyone starts jumping on and you know Dream calling me a bad husband hobbies. and all the rest of it that was at a time that she was working part-time and when i say part-time i'm talking weekends <laughs> so it probably was a hobby um but there you go uh in answer to your question cyber uh, yes, that is my brother's name on Insta, and he isn't the real Gatesy. That's me. And uh, you can tell him I said that because I was here eight years before him, so not very mature, but whatever. Uh, the conch is that shell the West Indians blow at the cricket. Oh! Okay. Um, fair enough, Luke. Fair enough. Do you know, I never stopped to consider that one. Now you've said it, I'm now like, oh, yeah. Yeah. You like the cricket, Peach? Yeah, 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 I do. I, I, I think I'm, going the to, baseball, I'm going to turn the camera well. off while I feast upon this meal that my good lady wife has put in front of me. Please feel free to carry on amongst yourselves. And you guys in the live chat, please feel free to, get, to say your piece, and I will click, yeah, I will I'm be here. I will be here, but please feel free to jump in and, and ask the chats questions as you see fit. And I will get them up and they can respond. Stupid bees, man. It's all these bees up in the place to be, and I don't want to be stung by bees. You see me, like, yo, man, I ain't even playing with you. Oh, man. Hold on, I got to fly the chat. How am I getting to like the, 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 the chat chat? I see, I see you, Matt. I see you, that, oh, Alec. Breaking news. Hold on. Wolves have failed to sign Kiefer Moore. Another failed signing, another bit of breaking news. Kiefer That's, Moore uh, would have been a good shot, too, you know. Kiefer Moore would have been a good shot, too, you know, man. I ain't playing with y'all, man. Right. Who needs Sky Sports? This this is... No, uh, we got you. We got you, Gaza. We got you, Gaza. You, you don't Yo, need Sky Sports when you, have, when you have me sitting here, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You're better than never letting her go around and around there. Like, yo, trust me, man. You put it down. They, they don't, they don't broadcast the from their bedroom and talk about food and holiday destinations. That's no, but saying. you do. And that's what I love more. I love talking about holiday destinations and food as well as by chance sometimes. They don't talk about them things. They're too serious. Like, oh, this man's going to be coming here. This man's going to be going there. Like, yeah, they're guessing just like we're guessing. Like, second question guessing, like. Hold on, I'm trying to get into the chat, but I can't. Hold on. All I got is private chat. I got baking. That's it. Private chat thing. How the F, how the F did you two cope with FR happening hours? That's all I got, doc. I can't get into the... How do, how do I get into the chat? Can I tell? Um, I just... Well, you're on your phone, aren't you? I just, yeah, have a, I, I just have it on a... See, I'm on my laptop, so I just have another uh, page open with the actual YouTube stream on as well. So I can see oh, word up. I got you. I got you. Hold on. Let me try. Hold on. No, that, that, that won't work. Hold up. I might disappear for a second, but I'm going to get this yeah. guy straight up. Hold on. Hold on. Because like, I got chat, but then when I press chat, it just says, it just says private chat. 
And then I call mm. that. This, this goes back to this guy. Hold on. Hold on. Chat with host. I'm just going to put hi. See, see if something happens. Hold on. Hi. Yeah, that's up yet. Yeah. yeah, nothing. Nothing, guy. Nothing, guy. Yeah, I, can't, I don't want to talk to the people, man. Cause the people is what makes this like one, man. Like, straight up, man. Ah, stupid ass chat. Yo, I, 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 I'm gonna fly, gotta get this chat working. I'll be right back, yeah? Yeah. All right, no, no. Re respect, man. He's doing Hold on. Right. How do I do You're supposed right. to be covering me while I'm eating my dinner. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get uh -oh. onto the chat. How do you mean, <laughs> Cameron Mike? Hold up, hold up. Cameron Mike, no audio, no. Hold up, Cam, you know. You're in the show. Okay, that's on that. You know. Oh, my days. What, what, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to get into the chat. You won't. Okay, you so I'll, I'll, leave, I'll, leave, I'll, leave, I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave for right now. I got the link. I'll leave for right now. Get in the get into the chat. Talk to the people who are my favorite, like as well as y'all, and then I'll come back on. So let me get it. Yeah. Let, let me get into the chat. Hold on. Peace out. One love. JC, you're a legend. Kaza, it's good to have you back. I we miss I, I you. I can't believe I can't believe you're leaving me in the lurch like this. <laughs> oh, then <laughs> I'm not. Then what I'm not. How do you mean? Then I'm not. How do you mean? Don't make me feel guilty. Uh, don't make I, me feel guilty, Doc. Then I'm not. Don't go. Don't go. I'm not. I'm not, guys. I'm not. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Cam in my. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Cam, I'm here, dog. I'm here, man. How do you mean, man? I ain't leaving you, dog. You might. Y'all. Yo, you might. You might. G, man. And, and West Ham online is my G. And anybody that wanted this West Ham online. Let me, let, me, let me just mute him for a minute. That's not transfer news. I, I did did ask mm. him, but he just carried on rabbiting away, so I had no choice. Um, that's an interesting one, isn't it? It doesn't it doesn't sound too positive for the fans, anyway. No, uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't. And that's how I roll, guys. Happy Stay. if you've seen something. He's, he's if you've seen Declan Rice come out saying the same. He, I don't think he's realised he's on mute. Peach, you're on mute. I've <laughs> muted you because you just. Rabbiting away, right? Have you realised? There you go. Are you, are you are you still there? Are you still? Hang on. I'm not rabbiting you. away. I'm talking real thing. You diss my boy there. You diss me. Like straight up. I don't care who you are. You could be in like the the, the you could be in the stars, but you diss my boy. You diss me. Straight up, man. Like yo, that, like that that yo, that shit's not Guani. Yo, you don't know me like that. I'm showing you, man. I'm like that. Oh, Yo, you yeah, can't diss my people, man. Ooh, you can't diss like my people. At home, I tried to diss my people, dark. And it's like, yo, it's not going on. Anyway, it's on to the next. Little update on Griezmann. Let's go. So what is is it a is it a loan they're doing or is it a permanent? Uh, well, an earlier tweet from him did indicate that it was a loan deal. Um, it'd be bloody, uh, it'd be on bloody good wages, I'd imagine. No, mm, you'd say so. Look yeah. how look how fall or how fall, how far Barca have fallen there. They're going for Luke De Jong oh, as a main striker option. He's he's in his probably mid thirties at this stage. They're in big trouble financially. Oh, he's, hello, hello, hello. What's this one? Finally. Could it be at half then? Yeah. Now, just when you thought it was it was we were scraping the bottom of the barrel as far as content was concerned. And I rather suspect, Alex, you might have your wish very soon. According if I'm reading this correctly. Hold on, hold on two seconds. I'll be right back. Sorry, some shit just Well He's not getting arrested again, is he? For any, for any of you that don't know, Peach was on um, another stream and he managed to get arrested. Didn't you, Peach? No, oh, no, he's keeping quiet. <laughs> the feds are coming for him. Oh, they are. Oh, hang on. Look who's turned up. How you doing, bruv? What's happening, chat? Not a Quick lot. 
Why not? not a yeah, lot. where is everybody? Where is everybody? Why, why can I only see my ugly mug and no one else's? Uh, well, I'm, I'm actually here eating my dinner, so that's why I've turned the camera off. I don't <laughs> think people watching want to see me chewing away. <laughs> they well, want to see been... me lying in bed. <laughs> What's been your thoughts on the on the transfer window so far, as far as we're concerned, bruv? Um, well, overall, uh, it's one of them, mate. Yeah, fairly happy. I would say, you know, if we if we're going to sort of analyse it, I think Ariola was the most realistic goalie that I wanted coming in, and we got him. Um, Zuma, to be honest, I didn't think I didn't think he was a realistic choice. I thought Chelsea would want to keep him, and when we were, when we was first linked, I wasn't massively impressed. But now I've come to think about it, I think he's at the right age. He's got good Premier League experience. He's a winner, you know, and he's he's he, he's better than you know. Bal Gwen has gone, and he's come in, and that's a definite improvement. And he probably slots straight into the first team, so I think that's a good shout. Um, this lad, you know, this lad that we've just splashed out thirty mil for is it Vlasic? Yeah, Vlasic. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You know. <sighs> I can't claim to know too much about him, but my only thoughts are if Moyes if Moyes is willing to spend thirty mil on him, he obviously rates him very highly. And from what I've seen, which is just YouTube related, he's got a bit of a touch of like an Eden Hazard. Like he's quite small, but he looks quite. Yeah, he has that sort of low center, slow center of gravity dribbling that he just gets under lads. Yeah, he looks and he's he looks quite powerful, and he's got a quick quick acceleration mm. on him. I mean, his goal his goal scoring and assist stats are decent. You know what I mean? And they, they look like they're getting better. I mean, he's, he's at a good age. So, it'd just be interesting where he slots into the team. You know, is he going to be... I, I think for more, them, he was more like a centre-forward, second striker than just like an out-and-out -out attacking midfielder. He does more attacking right. than he would be a, a sort of... You know, the way Fornals has a defensive role to him. He just runs everywhere. Yeah. He'd be more attacking-based, kind of like just a replacement for Lingard. He'll probably, yeah. as as our forward line does, there's, I know Antonio is out there a striker, but they bloody, they go, they weave in and out of each other. They swap around places. You could be playing left wing, you could play striker, then you go to attack in mid. They're constantly mm. going the in mode. and out. Yeah, they're, they're constantly changing defenders, switching up and... Uh, I think he'll be perfect for that play. I, I, I can't say I know much about him myself, but I all I can say is I trust Moyes, and if Moyes is willing exactly. to spend thirty million on someone, we have to trust him because he's not going to waste that money. Sapling Pete. Yeah, hang on, no, go back to the grocery store, dog. Hang on, I don't believe this, man. It's like yo, my dad and wanted you to You always have problems with your groceries, to... don't you? Yo, I look after my I look after my family back, right? And it's like, yeah. yo, I, I had to get I am big up big up my family stuff. But I had to like go get some like red wine for my pops, ciders for me, a Malteser bar for me, and that like me, 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 me. And then my dad mm -hmm. just called me and he's like, Yo, I want some cherries. I'm like, Word, I'm like, really? I gotta go get some cherries. He's like, No, 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 I'm all dressed. I can go out and get cherries. I'm like, piss off. I get you cherries. I'm like a block away. Now I gotta go get cherries, dog. Like cherries are fine in 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 in, in which we call it like August time. So yeah, I gotta go get some cherry. Yo, the cherries in Ontario are dope. I don't know if you ever had them, but you eat one, you eat a million, dog. They're absolutely nectar. Just like the peaches. I ain't even playing. Like the peaches right now, when they come out and they get put on the, the, the store shelf, the peaches are like, oh, they're plush and plump peach, and like peach, 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 peach. I'm going to shut him up. Right. Gonzo, uh, hello, save hello, me. Fellas. Save me. Uh, as Peach talking, he's, he's that's, that's what you call whitening. Basically, he's got all he's got all the all the brightness behind him. He's completely silhouetted, so you can't see him. Oh dear! How are you, my friend? Not bad, mate. You? Yeah, yeah, not too bad. First day back at work, as as you know, we discussed that the other day. So it's uh, easing in gently. So you, you, you look like Jim White. 
Why, thank you. I, I think that's a compliment. I'm not sure. Well, you look very transfer deadline day ish, that's for sure. Got the got the tie specially, mate. So uh I was just asking my brother there, um what are your thoughts on the transfer dealing so far as far as we're concerned? Um are we getting Alex Crow? Well, it's funny you should say that because that's from XWHU employee uh just a couple of minutes ago. So it rather suggests that there's some movement. Yeah, no, no, I heard that a couple of hours ago as well. Mm. But it's, I was just wondering, has it been confirmed? Well, he's, ex, like I say, in the last sort of couple of minutes has said there's an announcement that's pending. Um, and like I say, that was that was literally a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, so I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, thinking yeah. it's it must be pretty close. That, to be fair, they, you know, they, they, again, they, were, they were talking there. about it on Sky Sports News. Um, yeah. It's saying oh, that there was hello. an announcement. Hopefully coming. Hey, look, let's assume. Let's assume Sky Sports News are correct. Let's assume um, X is correct, and say it's done. To answer your question, I think it's a tremendous transfer window. I think given against the backdrop of reduced revenues for one and all. I don't know if you hear about the championship spend. By the way, the championship spend. The last time there was a normal season, which was the um, the, tw- the 1920 season, whatever it was, the last normal non-COVID season, yeah. their spend in the championship was 180 million. As of gone past lunchtime today, it was 30 odd million, 38 million. That shows you how little money there is, and how the yeah. clubs in particular have been impacted wow. by the um, by by the by the lack of gates or anyone coming in. Um, so is, there, there you go. Simon, Simon saying there that. A uh, Crowler's side. Um, this is this is fantastic, really fantastic business. Yeah. And if you'd have said before the start of the season that we would sign, you know, basically Fulham's player of the year, excellent goal. I know they went down and he let in lots of goals. But he's a good goalkeeper. He definitely is a good goalkeeper. Um, to sign Zuma, which was obviously David Moyes' top cent- centre back uh, target. Yeah. To sign, he's an attacker. Whether you want to call him a striker, a winger, whatever, he's an attacker. He's going to score some goals, and then. I think the the Crowell one is is really left the field. Let's not forget this is a guy who was being talked about as a thirty million pound player before yeah. COVID sort of hit and all the rest of it. Yeah. So oh there yeah. he is. He's having he's with his checkmates. Hey. Checkmates. I like it. That's exactly the pun that they should have gone for. Um this is this is magnificent for yeah. in terms of is, is that Peach saying yeah all the time. <laughs> No, I'm I'm no, I'm agreeing with you, dog. I'm agreeing with you, dog. Like, home homeboy might not have had like the best Euros, but you can't judge a man on the Euros. You you see what Harry Kane did. Like Harry Kane's one of the illest strikers like in the world, and he didn't show up. So it's like, yo, man. No, I'm happy about call, man. One one hundred. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, no, it's it's really 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 good news. Um, absolutely, absolutely. So this is somebody that is that's a proper senior player with um yep. I mean I ain't got to worry about him settling. Two of his buddies are there. Look, they're all having a cuddle at the moment. Um yeah. but this is this is this is really, really good. And I'll tell you what it reminds me of actually it reminds me of a little bit of AC Milan in the eighties, who had the <laughs> maybe I'm going a bit too far, but they had the three Dutchmen. And when you yep. actually import a whole um hold on, what's going on here? Oh, it's just Generic stuff, not West oh, Ham related. Uh, oh, it's not West Ham. Okay, fine. Um, you, you, you're actually importing people in, and then we'll be in the same nationality. is is absolutely fantastic because it just yeah, it's not gonna have to settle at all. He's gonna come over. I'm sure he'll get a, his house or his apartment or whatever he gets. Um, will be somewhere close to where they are. He's not got less to settle in the language, all this stuff that normally will impact a player when he comes over and joins and comes over to the Premier League. He ain't got to worry about that. His mates are in, and it's not just his mates, by the way. It's for his family. I, I take it Alex Crowell's got a, a missus or whatever and some kids, I, I, I assume so. They've already got people. His wife's not going to be lonely and isolated in London. There's already a, a, a basically a little, little Czech community little there community, for him. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. I think it's really, really fantastic news. Um, bring on, bring on the next game. I think it's been a really good window, Gatesy. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't have put it better myself, Gonzo. Ab- absolutely spot on. So, Rob, I know- can, I, can I, can I, can I finish? Because I was, I, I, I kind of been, I was sort of going through. I'm, um, listen. I, I, I think it's been a good window. I don't think it's been a great window. 
because you know if we if I really think about it, you know Ariola, yeah, he's a good goalie, but he's m- probably marginally better than Fabianski, and the only one I think really really improves the first team is Zuma. Does Vlasic? Yeah. Is probably no better than what Lingard was last season. Look, look, I would say, I would say it's probably an eight out of ten window. But I'm, I am, I am a little concerned. You know, I don't know much about this Vlasic geezer. Listen, if Antonio gets pulls his hamstring for Jamaica, who's playing up front? Yarmolenko yeah. or Bowen or Vlasic? I, I think we're gonna have a, a bunch of fast number nines, man. Honestly, no, I, I think look, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful, but I just think I don't think we needed Crow. What, what, what was the point of bringing Crow in and letting Coventry go? I'd rather us just go and get a striker that I think we need more than anything. Fair point. Yeah, well, I, I just think um, I think with a Coventry one, I think what you've got is someone that's. Coventry's got to learn. He looks a decent player. I think what you've got for someone for the Europa League now as a midfielder is going to drop straight in there and just play at Europa League yeah. level because that's exactly where where he's been playing. The, yeah, the strike, yeah. the striker one, yeah. I mean, I've, I've had it, I've had it all, all window, and I, I I do understand it. I don't think it will be Yarmolenko. No, I, I really, I really, really don't. And so you've got to hope that Moyes. That Vlasic, I think, can play anywhere. So I think that is absolutely the case. I think he is probably looking at David. David Moyes has shown the ability to to move with a time, so to speak. Yeah. He's not he's not been stuck in in the old days like a Tony Pulis or anything like that. And because of that, I wouldn't be surprised he's been working with you for a lot. I'd be surprised if he's looked at Pep Guardiola and what he's doing and thought actually, I I don't need a striker. And to be fair, he hasn't got a striker anyway. And to be Cal Antonio has not been playing as a striker for the last four or five years. And Altovich is not a striker for the last four or five years. I don't think he's that bothered about it. So I would not put what on earth is Peach doing? Um I would not put it past him. To um, to just turn one of these guys into a striker. Yeah. Um, hello, Joe. No, hello. Look, I, 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 I trust Moyes' judgment. I mean, every signing he's made has been done the business. So yeah, I think um, hopefully this Vlasic can be the the jack of all trades and do the business up front as well as out wide and behind the front man. Yeah, yeah. I, well, he, he, you know, I still think the squad is a touch thin. But um, but it's I do think it's it's really 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 good yeah. and it's it's been for too much of this window there's been a lot of people saying um, we're 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 in for relegation battle and we won't sign any players um, oh, and, no. I, and I'm I'm well I'm ple- I I'm, I'm pleased about that I didn't think that was going to be the case but um, it has shown that what uh, what we thought was going to happen which was a massive flurry of activity on transfer deadline day as I say I walked in here probably half an hour ago and the telly was on in the house and it was deals with Wolves were about to sign two players. Everyone's signing players. It's gone mad. It's not been a transfer yeah. deadline day like that for quite a few years. So yeah. clearly, I think the, f- the fact of the matter is most people are skint. Nobody wanted to admit it. So you've got all these deals going through, loan deals and, and, and everything like that. I think this is a really good, a really, really good signing. And make no mistake about it, this is not... Somebody, I think Ben Rama was possibly the last player that's been forced on Moyes. All these players are Moyes' players, uh, and, and I so crowd Moyes, Moyes will take him because Moyes and Moyes will get the best out of him. I'm really looking forward to this. It's very, very exciting. I, I can't. I, it's a shame, shame it's the uh, the old international break, really. Um, mm. But there you go. All, all, I'm, and, and do you know what? My phone's buzzing at the moment. I've got loads of loads, Same. loads of deals, loads of deals coming through. I've only have Jamie. There you go. We've got Jamie Green has just messaged us to say Alex Crow has signed. So um yeah. We got we got some we got a bloody good squad now, I, I think. Well, you know, a, a good a good team and a good bench. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing for me is sort of like is how you gauge how strong a team is or a squad depth is when you look at the bench and if you can look at it and go, Oh wow, they've got some options there. I mean, for me, I don't think that we've you know, you get past off sort of like first 12, 13 players and it starts to look a little bit like, well, what are our options when when we need a plan B? Like Saturday, for example. Yeah. Yeah. What's in the uh, bowl, Gatesy? The bowl? The bowl. It's a bowl. What's in the bowl with a spoon it's in a plate. it? It's a plate. 
Is it? Has it, has yeah. it dinner finished or is there something in it? Uh, I, I sort of like I was eating it and then obviously because I knew time dinner? was pressed. No, and, and I, did, I did that for you, mate. I Thank hope you. you're grateful. Uh, sorry, did I call you when you were eating? No, no, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I appreciate you coming on. So uh, it can wait. Well, listen, you get back to me. I've actually got to go because we've got to, go. we got to yeah, set up. Yeah, we've got to start. We're starting at nine. Um, enjoy, fellas. Enjoy. enjoy. It's, you know, and we haven't. It's not gone full squeaky bum, has it? So we can, we don't have to worry and stay up until midnight to see if a deal's gone through. We've done. Fingers crossed. We've done it. Well, and if it's signed, we've done our business. That's it. Unless it's, it's well, it's, there's, it there's possibly be a sneaky one in the pipeline, can it? Well, X sort of dropped a little bit of a hint and said that there's, there's a slight possibility for maybe another one coming in. Well, that would be excellent. Ooh. That yeah, be as I say, he's not he's not said it will definitely happen, but he's sort of like he's he put a little tweet out there which leaves a little bit of uh, doubt. Let's put it that way. I, I think I think in the context of actually the signings we've made and the fact that Rice is still here, that's probably number one. Do you know what I mean? You're right. We've still got Rice. We've still got Rice, and then we've brought in sort of three or four, you know, quality players. Actually, when you think about it, it's a bloody good window. Yeah, 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 the rice thing is is the best point, and spoken about it, you know, a few times now. You know, people praise um, Villa's window; they lost Grealish. You know, and there, there there was a point where people were panicking, and Southampton brought in Armstrong. What have we done? We haven't done anything. Actually, you look at it now; they've sold their best player, and they've sold their yeah. best defender. We've sold none of our best players: Antonio, Rice, Suchek, Ogbonna. They're all Cresswell. Those are our best players amongst them last season. They're all still here. I was worried that we that we hadn't strengthened. You've always got to be better than last season. Now, mm. now we are. We've got better competition mm. for places at our goalkeeper. We've got a better centre-back than we had last season. Mm. We've now, basically, if one of the main midfielders goes down, it's not Noble coming in. You know, bless him. You know, there's there's actually someone, international standard player, to come in. And, of course, there's not an upgrade on Lingard's, but I think you made the point perfectly. You don't think he's any better than Lingard, but I think he's the same sort of thing. And yeah. that's really important because we, without a Lingard, we were weaker because we had a Lingard last season. So this is, yeah. we, we are we are stronger. We've strengthened in three key areas. I'm, I'm really, yeah. really happy about it. Listen, fellas, I've got to go. Got to go. Um, Lonzo, appreciate your time, You get mate. back to your rice pudding. Ben, take care, mate. I don't know if it's rice Thank pudding. It, it looks like rice easy, pudding bro. from here. It's pasta. Uh, hey, hey, it's, it's past your bedtime, Gatesy. It's past your bedtime, my friend. Um, right, listen. Uh, Peach is frozen um, and upside down and sideways yeah. on. Uh, good, good luck. We're getting a good connection with him walking around like that, yeah. by the way. Uh, and uh, yeah, nice one, fellas. Um, so yeah, I'll call you Ben. Is that all right? Not not Gatesy number two, mate. Yeah, you can call call me anything you like. Just don't call me late to me lunch. <laughs> Absolutely. Well said. Ben Gatesy, nice to see you. Well impressed with you, Gatesy, by the way, turning up. Cheers, Duke. I am well, well impressed with you, you know, turning up on Sunday. No, dubbing for here. I mean on, on Sunday. Well impressed. Oh with no, no, no. You're Look, a, listen, that's, yeah, you're a, a, honestly proper proper solid bloke, honestly. Right, anyway, I've got to go. I'll see you later. Cheers, Gonzo. Be, Be good, mate. everyone. Be good. Take care, mate. Bye bye. And that was Gonzo from Hammers Chat, ladies and gentlemen, in case you hadn't worked it out. I'm just um He he didn't want I'm the a, challenge I'm... of pronouncing my name, you see. He didn't want he would he didn't want to challenge himself. <laughs> I'm sure that's not true. I'm sure that's not true. He probably thought you was but West Ham um... online, same as everybody else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have the chat. bloody official logo as me as me thing as well. I know. I mean, the, the amazing one that I'm looking at, and, and and from a financial point of view, it just baffles you, that, that um, PSG have turned down near enough £190 million for Mbappe, even though they're going to lose him for fuck all next season. That's just uh, amazing to me. I, I'm just yeah, sure I'm how just, much money they have. I'm guessing yeah. that's a mistype, Courtney. I'm guessing it's 1974, and you're not a time traveller. I could be wrong. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. It wouldn't take much to convince uh, uh, me you're a time uh, traveller yeah, at I this think, stage I of the night. Say, I think it's a, it's a mis mistype. It would I not think. take too much to convince <laughs> us, I'd say. I reckon, we, yeah. I reckon we'll have the same amount of Premier League titles that we've got now. Fucking none. <laughs> That's optimism. <laughs> and to, 
Don't get me wrong, I'll be fucking brown bread, so I don't care anyway. Ah, by then the ESL will be up, up and strong and will have won many at the Premier League. Leicester went from nearly getting relegated to winning the Premier League within a season. We, yeah. You know, the gap from sixth to first is a lot less. Why not? Uh, in answer to your, your question, Simon, yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's 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 the uh, he's the uglier one of the of the two, of course. Uh, less talented, um, but yes, he, he is. He is. Yeah, he is my sibling. He is my sibling. I think. <laughs> but no, I I think it's been a decent window, and as I say, there's still scope. I mean, like I say, that tweet that X put out a little bit earlier, where there was an element of doubt as to whether there was still business to be done he seemed to indicate that there might still be wiggle room let me just find it again just so it's that a bit i don't of relief that we've got that one confirmed though that's the main thing it's confirmed yeah. and i know it was basically confirmed for the last four hours but that it's officially done it's a bit of relief at least yeah this yeah. this one this one here you go uh he was asked the question by yeah. whu anything other than crown mate yes slight chance of a young player coming in now um, I can't remember who it was earlier. It might have been Duke. It might have been Milesy. Um, mentioned, and I'm not saying it is this person. I'm just, he, I'm just saying what someone mentioned earlier. Um, well, Adam Hlosek is a young player. Who knows? I mean, it probably, yeah. it probably isn't. It probably isn't. The, the way I read that, I read that in line with like that, um, that Pierre, Pierre Equarot, yeah. Ocaflex. You yeah. know, someone for the under, you know, a 19 year old lad from, you know, that going into the under 23s or something like that. I don't know about that. There's Simon. one here on Twitter that just came up for me. It's from Jacob Steinberg. It says Forrester close to signing Zande Silva for two hundred thousand pound. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cyber put that in the, in the live chat a little bit earlier. Yeah, but I haven't seen anything. He just posted it three minutes ago there, so that's at okay. least I, he's a big enough journalist. Yeah, I'm I'll pretty be... sure. I think that Zande Silva is not going to make it at sure. Premier League level, is he? He might be even 24 at this stage. Is he 23 or 24? Nah, he's about yeah, that, he's... isn't he? Yeah. He's, he's, he's in his 20s. He's not like he's sort of like 18, 19, like Odebeko sort of thing. He's 24. Well, that, yeah, that... he's past it. He's 24. <laughs> That's his time. Yeah. Out, kinda. Well, to be I fair, think... I'm not being funny. If you haven't made it by the time you're 24, you're probably struggling, haven't you? Yeah. And he went out on loan last season, scored four goals as a striker in 29 games. Like, it's nothing yeah. amazing. It's not ripping up trees. But I must admit, I'm, I'll, I'll be I'll be keeping an eye on Huddersfield this season because, um, you know, Meepo, that's a good little loan move. If, if he can yeah. nick like if he nick 10 to 15 goals, then all of a sudden you're thinking he might be good enough. Oh yeah, yeah. He, he, it, it, it's it's definitely at least get him play because he needs to up his game. Really, he's a, he's a great Massively. goal scorer, but he needs to up his general play and get yeah. involved more. We can't go from taking Antonio off, who's running the show, and just to generally getting involved in anything with twenty minutes left and throwing Meepo on, and all you're looking for him is to get a free shot, and he'll he'll put it in the back of the net. Yeah. He needs to get more involved. Exactly. Yeah, I I, I must admit I. <laughs> I don't like to judge someone on one game, but that um, when he come on against United in the cup last season, he looked mm. like so much like a fish out of water. It was unreal. Yeah. So he, he definitely lost. needs to he definitely needs to cut his teeth in the championship this season, and yeah. hopefully he can do that. I felt I felt bad for him though. I thought it was the wrong situation to throw him in. I think there was a lot of better situations to throw him in than that game. But I suppose it was desperate times, so he needed to. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure we started that game with Yarmo up top, didn't we? Uh, I'm trying to remember think, now. It might have been, yeah. I think Antonio might have been injured or something, and we started what the game with Yarmo up top by himself. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's normally so robust. Bless him. <laughs> and I love yeah, I mean, the Antonio. Sure that's what but, happened. You know, it is what it is. I, I think. Um, I must admit, I think. Um, when Bowen played a couple of games up top last season, he. You know, because he'll run his socks off and he's a good finisher. He's looking even better this season. Mm. Um, you know, I think that's an option. That, you know, if if we need him, like you say, this Blasic, he might be out of play there. But I think Bowen can definitely do a job there as well. He did a lot for Hull, didn't he? Yeah, he, he did. Well, but 
He yeah. was still their top goal scorer, wasn't he? When that season finished, when he came to us, I yeah, think he, he was. Yeah, he was still. Their, I think he had their seventeen goal goals scorer. or something. Seventeen oh, goals. I don't think they scored another goal when he left. Probably like not. That's why they got relegated. <laughs> so, but there you go. So I'm just having a little look on Twitter to see if there's any more. Oh, hang on. My phone's going. Hang on. Who's... Oh, hang on. The West Ham have put Sports. out the like, official uh, thing yeah. on the website for yeah. Carlo, yeah, I had that up just a moment ago. Probably, just, yeah. There's one that's come through from... Uh, Sky Sports News. Have a look at this, people. Breaking news. Da da. Griezmann to Atletico, South what? Chelsea, Edouard to Palace. A number of deals are still in the pipeline as we edge closer to the deadline. So these are three deals that are not quite done. Well, mate, that Gr- Griezmann to Atletico. That's the first time I've heard that. I didn't know that was in the in the pipeline. Hmm. Yeah. yeah oh, no, mate, he's, what, he's, what has happened? I seen what for, has uh, happened to Barcelona? Oh, they've they've, they've, they've got no money. money. They've got yeah. no money. That's is it over a billion like in death? Carnage. I think they've over a billion. In yeah, death. I, I, that's what I heard. It was around about a billion pound debt that they've got. And I mean, I, I, I heard somewhere about a year ago that they were looking to do up the camp. No, because I, I don't know if you've ever clocked it but there's only a very small section of that stadium that is actually undercover. So the rest yeah. of the stadium, if it chucks it down with rain, everyone's like getting soaked. Yeah. So they, they were looking at this sort of plan to sort of like redo it and rebuild it and put a roof on and all the rest of it. I'm like, good luck with that. It ruins but the look of honest. it as well. It's a real unique looking stadium. Here's a question. Just having a little look on the live chat. Bonnie Hammer, welcome along. Is this the best window since Mascherano and Tevez? <laughs> mm, I'm, I'm not too sure that, that those two signings... Well, certainly Mascherano wasn't a particularly great signing for us. I mean, he went on to have a fantastic career. Tevez probably was OK for half a season, but he had his struggles. But Bonnie's asking the question, is it the best window since 2007? Or was it 2006? Sorry. 2006, yeah. Yeah, it was 2006. It just followed the FA Cup, didn't it? Uh, Can you think I of a better about, window? I, I was about three then, so I can't say I was too buzzed over it. I remember when it <laughs> happened, you phoned me, didn't uh, you, Ben? Well, uh, to be honest, chaps, I was when when that happened, I rung Rob and I said, <laughs> we're winning the league. <laughs> you we're going to win the league. <laughs> and we nearly got relegated. And uh, Yeah, we went down. So I've got to be honest, my judgment is shit. <laughs> yeah. So, I uh, worked that one out. Do, do you know what? <laughs> you I'm did. I remember say, that. I'm going to say this is a this is a shit window, and then it might turn out to be a good one. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's that's fair to say. If if you turn around and say it's crap, then it, it may well turn out to be half decent. Hold on. No, We've I think got... it's, it's a, it is a good window. It's a good window, but the proof is in the pudding. We'll only know come the end of the season, but. On paper, it looks looks a very good window, yes. Mm. Just one here from Fabrizio Romano. Alex Runison, he's the goalkeeper, wasn't he? Uh, leaves us to, yeah. Yeah, to join OH Leuven on a loan with a buy option. Arsenal are only working on Tommy Yasu, paperwork and outgoings like Bellerin to Real Betis. No Alwa or new signings. There you go. Check. Chaps, what's what's your thoughts on Arsenal's window? Hmm. Well, they've done a lot of business, but it doesn't mean to say that it's good business. I guess time will tell. At the minute, it doesn't look like it is. I mean, nah. I think Ben White. I think he's a decent player. Is he worth fifty million? <laughs> Debatable. I I don't personally think he is. I think fifty million is too much but I think that probably that kind of goes with the territory with a an English player because obviously them being English I guess it, it they, they carry more of a, of a premium to English clubs don't they well, well well, I'll tell you what when you think when you compare White for 50 mil or Zuma for 30 mil that looks like we've done some amazing business there yeah well I mean you've got to say that Zuma's got two Premier League medals to his credit whereas you know, Ben White, what's he got? One season in the Premier League? Yeah, yeah. 
But I, I yeah. just think, I think what Arsenal have done, and not just Ben White, all the players they've bought, I think Arteta, listen, he could be in trouble. He's bought players that they might be good in three years' time. He's bought potential, but all all the players' potential. You know, whereas Moyes, he's gone out and bought like Suchek, Kufel, because he knows 28, 29, they can do the business right now. Whereas Arteta's looking too far down the road, in my opinion. And I think I think he's going to come a big cropper as a consequence. You think his, his job's in peril? I do, mate. Yeah, I mean, look, I know it's only three games in, but three games in, no points. Is it no goals? Uh, At the bottom of the league. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think all it takes is... I think I, I think I see on Sky Sports they've got Norwich, Burnley, and Spurs their next three games. Unless they pick up a, a couple of wins at least, he could be in a lot of trouble. I think. Yeah, how long do you think they're going to give him if the results carry on like that? Three matches, oh, four matches, five matches more. Well, mate. I've... Sorry, Cathal, was you was you jumping in, mate? Well, no, I, I, listen, mate, I, it all depends, doesn't it? If he loses his next three to four games, there'll be a, the fans will be on his back and they might have a decision to make. You know, mm. gen- generally, I'm sure he'll, he'll have at least until Christmas. But like I say, I, I don't think the players he's bought are the sort of players that look like if the chips are down and you're in a battle, you're looking around the dressing room, is he going to... You know, you're looking at your teammate. Is he really going to bust the gut for you? And I think the players at Arsenal, I don't think they will. Yeah, I mean, he's been given an awful lot of money. I mean, he's, he's you can't say that Cronky for, for whatever accusations you want to level at him. And it's a bit like um, this comment here, although it's, you know, obviously they've had an awful lot more money. Um, you know, Sullivan, you know, to give him his credit, he has backed the manager. You could make the case that maybe he should have gave gave him a few quid more and got in a striker or this and that. But fundamentally, you know, he's he's done the business that he's done. And and Gonzo said it earlier. You know, on in in sort of like squad depth, are we stronger than we were last season? Very probably. Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, I, I've no. got to be honest, right? I, I've I think the board generally have always backed our managers financially. Pellegrini pissed it up the wall, in my opinion. Yes. Uh, yes, and did. then, you know, with Moyes, they've been they've been a bit a little, a little bit more frugal, but I think that's because they've got less money at the minute because of COVID. But look, you can't argue. We've gone out and bought, you know, Zuma, Vlasic. We've we've spent a few quid, so we've kept our star players. Mm. Let's, let's, you know, get behind Ariola's the team. Ariola's a, a loan at the minute, but there's a... I don't know if it's an, lo- an option or an obligation to buy. I'm, I'm not yeah. totally sure. Do, do you know, do you know what, mate? versions of events. That, that, that doesn't really bother me too much. If, we, if, if, if everyone we've brought in was on a loan, I don't really care. As long as... If they do the business on the pitch, so be it, you know. But obviously, two of the... Zuma and Vlasic are permanent. And, you know, Crow, let's be honest, if Crow comes in and he doesn't perform and Coventry rips up trees in the championship, you might think, well, well, well you, you can go back, mate, and we'll bring Coventry back in. Who knows? It's low risk. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's a, a recall clause in Coventry's deal. I haven't got the foggiest idea, to be honest with you. There is. Personally, I think there should be. There, no, there is, mate. He's He's on a... He's on a season long loan with a call back at January if we, we want to. Oh, that's that's fair enough. Because when we can reassess it then, obviously depending upon whether we're still in Europe, whether we're, you know, still in the League Cup, whether, mm. you know, there's there's injuries that have happened. How he's doing, you know, if he if he goes and rips it up for us, Peterborough's gone, isn't it? Peterborough, yeah. Yeah, I mean if he goes there and, and tears it up, then you know, and all those, you know, those other set of circumstances. Who knows? He could, he could come back and he could be in or around the first team, no problem at all. Exactly, exactly. So look, it's it's probably 
it's probably good for everyone. You know, he would have been sitting on the bench a lot of the time. Uh, he can go and play men's football in the championship, improve, yeah. and and then it, we get a better player next season, hopefully. So yeah, and, um, and the same with Odebeko, of course, going to Huddersfield. You know, he's going to exactly. play first team men's football. He's going to, you know, test himself an awful lot more than under 23s. And this is the thing that I've, and I've probably discussed it with you, obviously. You know, I just sort of look and think, you know, there's an awful lot of players that we've got with potential, like Odebeko, like Ashby, um, yeah. Baptiste, whatever. And I just think, well, they're not going to get as much of a test in under 23s football as they, they would even playing League Two football against men that are going to, you know, play in a, in right. a completely different fashion. Do you know what I mean? And, and really test them. Mm. No, it's, um, no, look, it's, mm. it's exciting. It's exciting. I, I'm, I'm particularly excited to see this Vlasic in the flesh, strictly because I don't know anything about him. And we've, you know, like I said, the fact that Moisey and the board have shelled out, you know, over 30 million quid tells me he could be saying special. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. I I mean, as I say, I said it anyone that was sort of like on earlier. There was um Graham Beecroft on Talk Sport. He's obviously the Merseyside correspondent for them, and he turned around and said that despite the fact that it didn't perhaps work out for him at Everton, twelve appearances in the Premier League, nineteen in total. And he ended up going out on loan to Moscow and, and obviously they made the, the deal permanent. Um, he turned around and said, you could you could absolutely see there was a player there. And yeah. he actually turns around and he said that I think West Ham have got themselves potentially a little gem. Right. So, yeah, you know, it's time. And like you said it, earlier. But... Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he was what I think he was sort of like 19 or something like that when he turned up at Everton. Yeah. And I, so, and I think... From what I, from what I read, it was Kuman brought him in, and he was playing a fair bit under Kuman. And when Kuman got the bullet, I think it was that Marco Silva didn't really didn't really rate him. So you know, who knows if Kuman would have stayed, he might have he might have done uh, done the business for Everton. But we'll never know. And hopefully, we've got a little little gem, as you say. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's just about another two hours to go till the transfer window shuts. Um, to be honest with you, I have a very sneaking suspicion that our business is done. So I think I'm probably going to come close to the point where I'm going to end the stream. And if any, if anything happens, if there's anything that breaks, I might fire it up again, but I, I'm sort of looking at this and thinking this is, this is dwindling out. But um, before we do, guys, thanks for sticking with us. And the last little thing I'd say is, hang on, we've just got someone jumped in the stream, Jazz. Um, last thing I'd probably say is, we're, Jazz, we're probably just about to finish it here, mate, to be honest with you, because I very much doubt that there's any business that's going to affect us. And so I'm, I'm sort of like thinking we're just spinning our wheels here for. Has a uh, because I was I was away. Has Alex Crow been confirmed? Alex Crow's done. Alex Crow is is officially confirmed on on the West Ham Twitter feed. He is now a West Ham player. Okay, so I heard on the radio the only two we're waiting for is Edward and the Chelsea one. I th actually, I think the Chelsea one's gone pretty Ed soon. Edward is looking like he's almost yeah. a Palace player. Uh, Soul to Chelsea is almost done. Griezmann to Atletico is almost done, but they're they're still sort of like <coughs> going through the the formalities. It's not signed and sealed. <coughs> Careful. Gotcha, mate. <laughs> Just come out of the bath, bloody hell. Oh yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, before I wrap it up, guys, um, the reason we're here is obviously an appeal for this young lady. Um, Isla's struggling with neuroblastoma and she needs to you know her family needs to pay for the funds to save her life and if you guys can at least copy and paste this and put it onto your social media platforms with a little explanation as to what it's all about we'd greatly appreciate it you can find this information in the description below this stream 
on either YouTube or Facebook, up to you. Just copy and paste it, put it on your social media platforms with a little note as to what it's all about um, to try and keep the momentum going behind this particular campaign. Um, should you be able to do so, there is a Just Giving link there as well. So should you be able to put a couple of quid in the pot, please feel free to do so. Um, time really is of the essence and uh, we need to try and sort of get behind this this family and help them out. So I thank you very much indeed for your consideration. So chaps, there we shall end proceedings. As I say, if, if, if West Ham make a signing, which I, I rather suspect they won't. And if it is, it's probably not going to be messy. Sadly, um, I, I might, I might fire it up again, but I very much doubt it. Um, but for those of you that are watching, please do us a favor, drop a like on the stream, subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure you hit the bell icon to be notified of the new content as and when we upload it to the channel. Gentlemen, it's been emotional. <laughs> Thanks out, chaps. <clears throat> Only one thing we've got to finish with, usual. Come, Come on, you irons. irons. Come on, you irons. Stay safe, chaps.